What's up, friends and real ones? Welcome back to the channel. I am Real Grog, and around here I explore the open worlds of post-apocalyptic and survival gaming, and tonight we are diving even further into Kingdom Come Deliverance 1. And I add that detail on the very end because today, my dear friends, is an amazing day in gaming history. Just this very afternoon, U.S. time, of course, uh, a little bit later in the evening over on the uh, eastern borders of the far reaches of the uh, of the Atlantic Ocean. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 was announced this very day, and I cannot believe that somehow I was able to use all of my charisma and well wishes to persuade Warhorse to release this studio. You're welcome. No, no. Don't thank me. Don't tell me that single-handedly that I bring this decision about. I, I can't take all the credit. I will take a lot of it, because clearly something we're doing here is right. And they decided in all of their wisdom to release the trailer for Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. I cannot wait. I am so excited. And so no matter what, I wasn't feeling very good yesterday. I was a little under the weather. I had uh, some issues on the home front and I and I was like, I don't know if I'll be able to stream tomorrow. And then with this news, with this bolt of lightning, coming out of the blue and letting us all know what's in store for us in the later half of 2024. I said, yeah, we're going to stream tonight. We're going to say hi to Henry in season one. We're going to, we're going to come in. We're going to come on in. We're going to keep exploring in this incredible title that is finally uh, going to be receiving a well-deserved sequel. So I cannot wait for that. If you have not seen the trailer already, uh, definitely feel free. I tagged it. I, I made a little post earlier as well, uh, just sharing the link to the trailer. Definitely go give that a watch. I was going to have it queued up to uh, to see if we could uh, uh, have it queued up in case we wanted to watch it here, but I wasn't totally sure about the uh, the copyright sort of issues with all that stuff. I wasn't sure if I'd get a strike on that or not, so I wanted to give it a day or two and to really look into that. But uh, either way, it is linked on this video, shared through them, and so feel free to go check out uh, what Warhorse just announced. It looks absolutely incredible. And on one of my shorts a little back, a, a little bit uh, like a week ago, I posted that uh, I wish the combat, or I hope to see that the combat be modernized a little bit. And I was a little unclear in what that meant. Somebody did question me on that, which is totally fair. And I, from what I saw in this incredible uh, trailer, I, I think that that, what I was trying to say is uh, is being delivered in this incredible title. So I cannot wait for that. I don't know about an exact release date. I think just like all of you, I will happily, eagerly, and patiently await uh, whenever it drops. It's supposed to be at the end of this year, but I cannot wait. I'm so excited about it. Uh, so much fun stuff to talk about. And uh, But to get back onto the topic of tonight's stream, which I'm very excited about as well. Uh, if you joined us on Monday night, thank you very, very much. Uh, we courted Teresa, which is phenomenal. She is now our, our lady, which is great. Love her. And then uh, we also did most of the quest for uh, for Lady Stephanie of Tomberg at your service, my lady, is the name of that quest line. And basically we're setting some things up for her cousin's wedding, I think, something like that. And uh, and so we did most of it on Monday, and we just have to ride back to Sassau, which is uh, a, a massive town on the western borders of this entire kingdom. And uh, we're going to be spending probably a lot of time there tonight. As you can see by the title, Henry's Healing Hands, we're going to be taking part in a little extra DLC mission over on that side as well. Uh, that will also help us in the later game. But lots of fun stuff to see. I cannot wait. Uh, Miss Marin dropping right in saying, can we take a moment to talk about the delivery of the announcement? And absolutely, that, that needs a shout out. If you haven't, if you didn't watch the announcement live today, I'm sure it's all on the internets for you but man yeah they went above and beyond to deliver this really incredible trailer so uh yeah absolutely beautiful sneak peeks behind the scenes big old orchestra it playing in a beautiful church set in Kutenberg, uh which is where the sequel is going to take place Kutenberg is a massive military military uh, uh strong point in the story of this but also a massive town with a uh, huge silver deposit as well so lots of history there and very, very cool to set the trailer in that same town. I absolutely love that. Leading even further into the realism that Warhorse Studios is going to be producing. So cannot wait to see that. And so I've got a general sort of brainstorm of a schedule for the next few months here at the Real Grog Station. We're going to be doing Kingdom Come through its, through its finality. We're going to enjoy this, see where it leaves us. 
and then we're probably going to be moving into maybe some fallout i think tis the season it's too long this channel has been around without any fallout love so i think uh having downloaded all three games last night uh, we might have to go check some of those out but we'll see what happens we got a lot to get through before we get to that point and in the meantime welcome in kevin who's still who's letting me know right at the very top kingdom come 2 is coming absolutely my friend thank you so much for being here and hey my man hey to you mega john hall as well that trailer though i'm very excited if you know mega john hall at all you know that it takes a lot to get him pumped up about a game but i would say that we have found the uh the secret recipe the secret sauce for it but welcome in my friends it's great to have you thank you so very much for being here a little thursday night stream to get us started with i cannot wait to get underway so uh as um as i was saying so monday night we uh we we did a couple of smaller missions and we were given the bailiff ship we were given the bailiff ship of primislivitz the northern village uh that we rescued from the uh, from the bandits and uh <laughs> from the bandits and the ne'er-do-wells that dwelt within we cleared it out and i did accidentally activate a bit more of the dlc and i went to uh, i went to retake because i was doing something i was just training with bernard a little bit and i was talking to the bailiff and i accidentally did one small stage in the dlc from the ashes which is what allows you to rebuild the town of pribislavitz and uh and so I, it's not much. Basically, the ba bailiff of Rete goes out to the town square and says, hey, all you refugees that are hanging out here, go move there if you want to. And if you do, cool. If you don't, you know, we'll deal with you here. But a lot of refugees headed up north. So I'm going to have some uh, some citizens stopping on in. Uh, Chili Santa dropping in. Drink that Tabasco, which I did not take a shot of Tabasco. Uh, if you're a part of our phenomenal Discord and this amazing conversation that's always kind of an on-rolling thing, uh, Chili Santa gave me the great advice for my for my not feeling too well to take a shot of tabasco and what was it lemon juice something like that a really a appealing combination of, of items but i haven't done it uh but maybe who knows maybe halfway through the night we'll see what happens um but thank you so very much for being here it's absolutely uh phenomenal to have you all i know we're just getting settled so take some time rest digest hang out i just stuffed myself full of way too much food so i will try not to belch directly into the microphone maybe just slightly adjacent but we'll see what happens so without further ado, my friends, let's go ahead and drop on into the game and see what we got here. So I am on the overview map right now. I am down in the uh, at the Rete Mill. I recently, uh, as I like to do off stream, so I'm not boring you with it, I went through my inventory and I, and I got rid of a bunch of stuff, got some new outfits taken care of and all that fun stuff. So I'm pretty much, I think, I'm only carrying what I need to be carrying right now. So uh, without... Anything else keeping us in this part of town? Actually, I was thinking, uh, since we're down here, I think I'm going to head on up to the uh, to the upper hall because since we're here in Rete, we actually have to head up to the main castle, chat yeah. with somebody up there, and they're going to give us a bit more direction uh, now that we've narrowed down where the bandit camp is kind of our next lead we narrowed it down so if you remember back a few weeks we've been hunting this band of uh, this band of raiders and brigands we tracked them down to purpose splits in the north we cleared them out we killed run the guy who took our sword um and now given the bailiff ship of that town and uh and finding out that their next attack will probably be at other stables in the area i need to go talk to my higher ups i need to go talk to my boss's boss and be like, all right, what the hell am I supposed to do now? So give us some direction. All right. What a beautiful town. Beautiful day. I'm riding through in my shiny new armor. Love it. We also, at the end of the stream, once again, bested our opponents and won a, uh, I think the fourth round, maybe the fifth round in the Rate Tourney, which is making us a bunch of Groshen. And also, uh, it is getting us pretty well equipped all right but let's see what these guys got to say i'm afraid you were right when you said these hostilities wouldn't end at probislavitz that comes as no surprise what has happened the men reported two more attacks today <clears throat> ah henry i'm glad you're here it seems like we'll have another task for you come and join us my lord greetings lad the bandits raided a few remote hamlets but that's the least of our worries they also attacked merhoyed and that's a much more serious matter Men are yet. Matthias is working there. They attacked right after the battle in Pervislavitz. Bastards are probably trying to prove they're still strong. But there's a silver lining. The villagers held them off. And they even took one captive. 
He's wounded. We can still interrogate him. Your graces. I hope I'm not intruding. On the contrary, Master Tobias. Unlike Bernard, you are the bearer of good tidings. Or so I gather from the coin you carry. Tell me, how many Groschen did we find in Pribislavitz? My lord, I'm sorry, but my news is no better than Captain Bernard's. These coins are very good. That is to say, well-made facsimiles, as we call them. Ah, forgeries. Fact what? I don't give a fact what you call them. I want to know what they're facking worth. That's <laughs> just it, sir. Oh, Hannah. <laughs> they're worth nothing. Kobolith's <laughs> response just, oh, oh this, this guy. How are we on the same level? Tobias. Um, this here is just a pile of copper. Kurva! Fuck! Plated with silver, so it's still of some... Worth. But not much. Kurva! Fuck! Is it a lot of work to make such counterfeits, Master Tobias? I should say so, sir. Highly demanding work. Especially to make such plausible forgeries. They would need a well-hidden foundry, several craftsmen, and a source of material. But they could just be brought in from somewhere else, could they not? Well, they could, but then again, the silver mines are nearby, and these groschen seem freshly minted, so... So we are facing a foe who has almost limitless sources of coin. That's all we need. Doppler Well, gentlemen, it's clear what we have to do. Interrogate that captive bandit, find out their numbers, and promptly cut off their supply of money. Otherwise, they'll soon have another encampment. They haven't already. I doubt it, sir. Merhayet wouldn't have been able to hold them off if they Look did. how good Henry looks. I'm just saying. My lad, I said it we'd have work for you, but it never crossed my mind there would be this much. You've already proved your worth as an investigator, so I'm putting my faith in you again. Go to Merhayet and question that captive. All right, cool. Find out where those brigands are hiding, how many there are, and what they're planning. And while you're at it, see if you can find some clues as to where this counterfeit coin is coming from. Very well, sir. Good luck. We're counting on you. All of us. Come report to me as soon as you know anything. I'll be at the lookout point near Talmberg. Gotta give Kaz, uh, Kabbalah credit. He really does put the miles on. My boy travels a lot. All right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, first of all, before we get too far in, welcome in John Decano. Didn't see Teresa in the trailer, but another new chickie for Henry. That was a problem that I have. Uh, I didn't see her either, and I don't like that because... I'm just saying, Henry's a good guy. Don't you dare force me to be a bad guy with Teresa. Uh, that said, John Hall makes a great point here. I am curious how they will continue with Henry skill-wise in the sequel. Reset or some type of upload similar to Mass Effect. Because that would be pretty cool. And I, I would say almost an even better um, better version of what I would like them to see is, or what, what I would like to see from them is the Batman, uh, or Batman from the Arkham games. I really hey, like how right each... Uh oh Show me what you have on you. Now, what's my charisma right now? I got 20 on charisma. Uh, let's give it... Actually, I'm going to add my... I'm going to give it my horse. I'm going to put my helmet on as well, because that way I, sh I took a new perk that uh, should allow me to intimidate pretty much any guard now, hopefully. Uh, it's called Gollum, and it makes anything I'm wearing make me strike impo it strike fear. Are you deaf? Oh, look at this guy. Really? Yeah, what's what? up? Look at how shiny my armor is. For security reasons. Uh, security reasons. I actually don't even know if I have anything to steal on me. I expect there we go. Finally, a little. Uh, finally, I get a pass. This. I meant no offense. Sorry. Go right ahead. You've even got the voice. Like I shouldn't bother with you. Um. Okay. So this is pretty cool, though. So we now are uh, are tasked with tracking down the counterfeit Groshen, uh being made by the bandits that were up in Pribislavitz, and we're gonna. Track that down, find where the source is coming from, eliminate the source. Here is uh, Warhorse Jenna, by the way. If you're not familiar, this is my new horse. Sweet new blue saddle. I got a new uh, caparison. I forget how they're called, what they're called. But um, but I would really like it kind of in the Batman games where while you retain some of your skills, you kind of evolve past the, the, the base level ones. So you start off with kind of like your, your mid-tier skills, and then you acquire better skills that make the, mid, the the late game skills of the old game seem like beginner skills. Does that make sense? Basically just getting new, yeah. new and better to replace the old and what was once the best. But... 
But yeah, I, I would imagine that they're gonna just stack skills on, because even if your Henry is fully updated, I feel like there's still a lot of room for growth, you know, because in the trailer they had said, um, in, in this, we're dealing with, we're dealing with Henry and the government of, of small agencies, of, of local governments, and smaller sort of, um, sort of fiefdoms. Whereas in the next game, you're dealing with kings and the actions of those kings. So I think there's going to be a lot more yeah. growth uh, potential for Henry. At least I'm hoping so. And and based on his facial facial structure as well, I mean, of course, it is a better programmed game, I'm sure. They just have more resources at, at their disposal. But I do wonder if it's set a bit in the future, too, because he looks a lot older and not just... Uh, and not just because of the detail in the game, but I could be wrong. They could they could just be making it, uh, you know. He just looks a lot a lot more detailed than he did in this game. Uh, Chili says, "If you can't be good, do bad well." Nicely said. Um, yeah, right. Teresa was way too nice and loyal to Henry to be removed from KCD two. I totally agree. Yeah. And you know, who knows? I mean, all we can do is presume right now. We didn't see her, but also there could be story reasons for that, um, even in this game that are yeah. that we have not, uh, we not haven't yet found ourselves. Oh, looks like we got. Let's you know, let's go and start it off strong. Looks like we got a little either a duel or. Oh yeah, okay, this guy's great. Ben, could I have a word with you? The faint-hearted knight. Now, typically, this guy in the early game, if I come across him, not gonna lie, I take him out every single time Stop. and take have all his word. armor. Just saying, what I'm not perfect. Then? It's about this. I challenge you to a duel, sir. Oh, that's cute. What? You heard? Don't try to wriggle out of it. Let's get to it. Yeah. Uh, what's this about? I'm not in the habit of fighting to the death with fellows I meet by chance on the road. Tell me first what this is all about. What's happening Ooh. is I'm challenging John DeCarno with an do. interesting twist. You exactly. So we'll, we'll wait and see. Man. Maybe Teresa I'm will pop on a little face. Henry. Either, That's totally possible. You? Who knows? Who Who's knows what that anyway? night in the barn together I'm, will I'm end up Sir creating. Oldrum of Lossany. Pleased to meet you, Sir Oldrum. So what are you after? <laughs> uh, my mother sent me out to get some experience. Dude, you're such a weenie. I'm sorry, She's but... obsessed with tales of chivalrous knights. Oh, in boy. short, she sent me off looking for some virgin to save hmm. and to win glory in combat. But I have to admit, I'm not very good at it. She has sweet armor, though. Uh, why not start with the damsel? Look, dueling's all fine and dandy, but shouldn't you start with looking for that virgin? There's lots of pretty maids around these parts. One or two might still be virgins. <laughs> hmm. That never occurred to me. Once you've done that, you might So if I'm being honest, I've never done this conversation with this guy. If I'm fighting for the love of my life, my courage will know no bounds. Ah, uh, that's not quite what I had in mind, but so be it. It works. Thank you for your encouraging words. Glad to be of service, sir. Yeah. Honestly, like I said, typically I, I I kill oh, him every I'm, time. I'm quite good at that. Uh, but I do want to pickpocket him, kind of just see what's up. And, you know, not perfect after all. Well, black red. Nice. All right, nothing too special. But it's mine now. All right, cool, cool, cool. So that is the faint-hearted knight. If I didn't already have some sweet gear, I'm not going to lie, though, I'd probably take him out. Yeah. All right, now, I just kind of picked a direction and started riding because this game is so beautiful. I just want to ride sometimes, you know? It's just nice. So, Meharyed is the next location for the uh, for the main storyline. Henry from Scarlet's, I'm feeling quite hungry. Well, Henry from Scarlet's, feel free to sit, relax, and eat while you uh, while you enjoy with us. Great to hear, see you here, Henry, and congratulations on the sequel. Uh, welcome in. It is phenomenal to have you. KCD3, Revenge of Henry's Son. <laughs> John DeCano looking way into the future here. I love it. Uh, Henry, but by the way, welcome in. Uh, I don't believe I've seen Henry from Scholars himself stop into the chat, so thank you for being here. You are a hero, and I appreciate you. We are now debating whether we're going to swing over into Sasau to complete the quest for your... Uh, uh, at your service, my lady, which I think we should. Uh, this little marker B right here. I believe the crown should be ready. We've been away for a few days. I went and trained with Bernard for a day or two, so it, it, it ate up a little bit of time. So I think let's go ahead and... 
yeah, let's just go ahead and fast travel over to Sasau. And now we can actually even get a good look, because I realize, as I say all this, that we don't even really uh, have... We, or we haven't really seen any, much of Sasau. We took a quick little ride through it at the end of the last stream. But I'll show you now, especially like the main marketplace at 4 in the afternoon. It's a beautiful place to be. Really, really nice here. Look at this place. Huge open square, and this is just one portion of it. So starting down here, we have the uh, kind of like a, squire's, or a, a scribe's office blacksmith we got a bunch of local vendors right here as well uh over there is as you can see on the sign yeah we got the little blacksmith symbol maybe that was the general store actually yeah. but all of this town is just it's just bustling with life there's so much yeah. to see and do and uh lots of money to make, be, be made if, if you are uh somebody with sticky fingers like myself sometimes and then one of my favorite areas of course the But as before, we're going to head up north. We're going to talk to the Master Crown Maker, see what he's got for us, see if he's ready. And last week, we also ran into a couple old familiar faces, uh, Fritz and Matthew, two of our old friends from Scalis back in the day, and they are looking for work, of course, and they need our help to do so. So we're going to be keeping our eyes peeled and our ears peeled for uh, any work for a couple carpenters, local carpenters. Um, Henry from Scalitz himself asking, is everyone excited for Kingdom Come Deliverance 2? My goodness, my friend, I cannot be more excited. I just got, I just uh, talked about it a little bit at the beginning of the stream, and I'm I'm going to spend the next couple hours talking about it because I cannot wait. I, I jokingly said that I started this cha this uh, to, this playthrough of this game a few, uh, a few weeks ago to hopefully get some more eyes on it, to push War Horse Studios to release number two. And I'm a tiny streamer in a giant ocean of phenomenal uh, phenomenal creators out there and i'm still taking the credit i just i yeah i i i think it's uh, you're welcome everyone you're very welcome so uh i am so pumped i cannot wait and i'm i just everything the trailer showed gave me such high hopes for what's going to show up in uh hopefully just a few short months here can't wait um newzo by the way help uh welcome in evening y'all hello hello welcome in great to see you my friend thanks for stopping by we are just celebrating the announcement of the incredible upcoming sequel and uh and finishing up the mission as well but i do want to take off my helmet while i'm, while I'm in town let's go ahead and do that there we go now let's see do i have a just because i like it for being around town i don't think i do okay i want i wanted to have a little a little uh little neck neck roll thing uh henry has come to see us i know i'm, I'm absolutely in awe that henry from scalas is here with us in person thank you so much for being here my friend um i i don't feel worthy to ask but henry please feel free to subscribe we'd love to have you stick around and uh and let me know what yeah. you think of the playthrough and if there's anything uh that special you want to share yeah but phenomenal to have you in either way my friend yeah all right so let's go ahead and cut across the fields Find the master crown maker and get what yeah. we so desperately need. The last piece of the puzzle. <laughs> Miss Marin saying, I'm going to have to play through KCD before the release of the second game. I'm so excited. Uh, that's incredible. I love to hear that. Yes, I highly recommend it. Um, oh, nice. Thank you, Henry. Thank you for subscribing. I sincerely do appreciate you. Absolutely. That's phenomenal. Phenomenal. All right, Florian, you're not the guy. There we are, Master Jerome. God be with you. And with you. What about the crown? Is it finished? I'm a man of my word. Ah, of very good. It's finished. Here you have it. All right, that Thanks is piece Lord three out of three. It wouldn't be the same without it. Take care now. All right, so we've got everything we need to go back to Lady Stephanie and uh, and get our rewards. Question. Oh, here we go, Miss Marin, with the question of the night. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. You know, I'm curious. I don't think I've ever really talked to the uh, to the miller in in Sasa. I wonder if he's also a I'm honored thief. that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. Ooh. Is there any work here for carpenters? In this day and age, I'm glad I can support myself. Fair. Yeah, I get that. Okay. So the mills are where I want to look for help for my friends, Matthew and Fritz. And uh, so the... Oh, sorry! <laughs> yeah. All right. 
yeah. so there is so much to do i also am going to show us uh our new town and the town that we own um because yeah. now is the really really fun part that i just absolutely adore um <laughs> i'm loving this shit okay so miss Marin's question of the night banana bread or zucchini bread and I'm loving the debate already. Banana bread with hickory nuts. With hickory nuts? Well, that sounds interesting. Smoky and rich. And from Scott is letting us know that zucchini bread is underrated. I 100% agree. And yeah, hickory nuts, I'm just as interested as you. Um, but yeah, zucchini bread is way underrated. But I'll take either one. I've, I've said this in, in the past. I don't care what it is. If it's zucchini, banana, any sort of loaved bread like that, you cannot leave it around me. If you leave it around me, you will not see it holy again. That's bread. it. It's all mine. They're holy enough when it suits all right, we're going to go run into an old familiar friend before we leave town, own, because this is a very cool uh, quest line. Happy to fill their bellies while people starve outside their walls. Okay, quit ranting. Go to the devil. Quit ranting and let me talk to you. Johanka? <sighs> hey, George Benton, really? control that horse. Glad to see you. <laughs> me too. I That's awesome. heard that you're doing well. Welcome in, George. Great wow. to see you, my friend. That depends. You're alive. So you're doing well. Well, what's happening here? I'm liking this dramatic uh, Philip, camera shot that Henry's doing. Wrong. It's like a very yes. uh, romantic novel sort of thing. Leaning on the, ended up? Actually, the doorway I, and the door frame. I had no idea. Well, now you know. Me and Nicodemus have been trying to keep things under control since Scarlet's was raised. Just the two of us. Can I help? Um, can I help at all? So you'll notice this is a great quest line for having Medic 3 in Henry's it's been skill like set. That since the beginning. I was in a bad way myself back then. They took me to Ratai unconscious and I needed a healer. Hmm. Hmm. Is everyone she holding says. Up? What can I do? Holding up? People here are dying, usually needlessly, and I can't do anything about it. We don't have enough food or space or anyone who's willing to help us. Yeah, I'm literally standing here trying to help you and you're not telling me what's going on. Uh, nobody helps you here. Does anyone help you with nursing these people? <laughs> Scholars, maybe, but they leave the healing up to God. Nicodemus is trying, but everything he knows is from his books. Okay, great. So here you go. So you can see that little cast symbol at the end of my uh dialogue option so the fact that it's highlighted of course as you would as you would figure that means that i clearly have the level to to help which is really great can i have a look at them myself i know a little about healing do you now and what would you do if you burnt yourself at the forge easy first you have to cool it down with water marigold ointment helps and it's better if you don't bind it and let it breathe hmm you do know what you're talking about Looks like blacksmiths know about more than just pulling teeth. Pulling teeth? Nothing to it. As long as you don't squeeze the pincers too hard and crush them. Well, go and see if anyone needs anything. Just don't go pulling anyone's teeth. I might pull some teeth. If they need it, because I know what I'm doing, Johan. Saying. All right. And how are you doing? And how are you doing? You're the only woman here, alone in the monastery. <laughs> Some of the monks speak to me. Too bad the custodian isn't one of those. Is the custodian causing you problems? All the time. Apparently he has a wife somewhere, but that doesn't stop him. Mm. He's And, um... I didn't mean to cut else? her off mid-sentence there. What do you mean, what else? He's invited me to his home. Mm. I could do something about it, if, if you liked. <sighs> no, I can deal with him. The last thing I need is you going around threatening people. It won't help me, and it definitely won't help the refugees. So, Henry from Scarlet's in the chat just dropped an interesting nugget uh, that I was a little curious. I wanted to get everyone's opinions on, because I don't know how I feel about it yet. Crossbows, absolutely. I think that's a really cool addition to... Uh, I'm sorry, the comment is crossbows and hand cannon are coming... Uh, are going to be game-changing, because in KCD2, which I can't believe that I get to say that officially now... Uh, they have introduced crossbows. I'm all here for it for that. I, I think that's a great idea. But the hand cannon, which essentially is like a very early stage pistol, it looked like. Very, very cool. But I'm just going to get out of this for now. Look, Henry, oh. I know I can speak oh, harshly. I'm a little I'm concerned about that. I don't tether. think it'll be over, over the week, top. Last died. Maybe you knew him. 
And nobody even blinked an eye. We desperately need help. All right, I'll okay. do whatever's in my power. I'll figure it out. All right, so now this is actually a really cool quest line. It gives you a lot of different opportunity to uh, heal all of these refugees, or at least the people that you can, uh, and just finding different ways to, to help out around here. So um, you can actually go around and you can interact with certain members, not all of them. And by doing so, uh, you can, of course, get some different... Uh, get some different sort of tasks underway for uh, how, how you're going to heal them up, which is very exciting. Oof, that was close. All right, so like, look, the, look, able to no, get no, out this guy can just look at him. He'll be fine. I'm going to grab some bandages. Just kind of sprinkled, sprinkled all over the place. These wounds have been well taken care of. So yeah, most of them are pretty good, but there's a few people here that we're going to help out, so. Meantime, I'm just trying to gather up the rest of these bandages. I think I need 10. I think I need 10 total. This homeboy is bleeding out. Um, but it's it, 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 it is cool because these are I mean, cool in the general sense of, you know, you can actually help out the people from Scarlet's, like the refugees from your own town. I just think that's really cool. Uh, that you have an opportunity to do so but like i said in the past you can really make your henry your way and if <laughs> if he's a dummy and he's coming here with no skill no idea what he's doing he's not gonna be useful at all you know what i mean he's gonna he's gonna mess a lot of stuff up which i've done that and it does it's not looked on terribly kindly <laughs> yes absolutely um, yeah, so so based on okay, first of all, John Mega John Hall zucchini bread is good, but nana bread is better. It's hard to argue with that, but you know, here's the thing is like I said, I don't care which one it is, I'm going to eat all of it before you have a choice, a chance to make up your mind about it. It's gonna just be gone, so just be okay with that. All right, I also uh, I unlocked the uh, in our time away. I unlocked the recipe for the night hawk potion, which Quiet. essentially is a night vision potion, and I cannot wait to start brewing some of those up. But the 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 ingredients for it are, are pretty rare, actually. They're, they're tough to get, so I might have to go buy a bunch of stuff before I do that. Philip from Scalitz. I don't see any wounds, but he's shaking terribly. Mm. Carrot cake is king. Get out. <laughs> uh, ah, sure. Yeah, John Hall kind of kind of saying what I'm saying. Where it's uh, I don't mind the Archibus being there, Archibus being there, but I won't use them myself. I've never liked guns in my medieval slash fantasy games, and I get that. That's kind of where I'm coming from. Where it's he's not reacting, but all I can see that's wrong with him is his leg. Hmm. I have to ask you, Hunker. All right, so right now I'm just kind of gathering information on who's sick and what they need. Christ above! I can't get a wink of sleep. What are you making such a fuss about? <laughs> a fuss? Because of my leg, I have to stay here for at least another week. It hurts like fuck. And with everyone else moaning and groaning all night, I can't get any sleep. I can't get any sleep. Yeah, I'll help you. Maybe I'll... Oh, and for God's sake, do it quick. Good All right, so I'm going to make that guy a um, a lullaby potion, which is, as the name implies, a potion that Please puts your ass to be able to, to get out of this on his own. Uh, 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 what do you want? Just stop smacking your mouth when you You're talk. from Scalitz? No, but please help me. Uh, well, you're pretty battered. Well, you're pretty battered, but I don't see anything that a few weeks rest can't fix. Weeks? Is there anything I can do to help? It looks like they took care of your wounds. When I was little, my father got trampled on by a horse, and an old hag from the village gave him some kind of purple herbs for it. And he got better very quickly. All right. Do you remember what the herbs were? I don't. But they're supposed to be the whole cursed knowledge. So I'll try to find Thank purple you. herbs May that Lord watch over you. heal. Fairly certain I know what those are. What's going on? You look all right. <laughs> Henry, I love how callous My leg still hurts. Henry can be. He's just like, ah, quit whining, you. you're fine. <laughs> That's what I tell the ladies. Truth is, I did myself a mischief while I was running away. Nice. Occasionally, 
They told me they don't have enough bandages. Huh? I have bandages. I've got bandages, so I can take care of it. Wonderful. Could you tell Brother Nicodemus? Oh, I got you. I can do it myself. Um, I thought <laughs> you were a blacksmith. I'd hope so. Henry spent the first ten hours of the game picking. It was only six hours. But unfortunately, I've had to learn a thing or two about <laughs> the art of medicine since then. It felt like ten. Well, though. you're right. Fine then. Take care. All right, so that is one helpless villager taken care of. I'm not needed here. Nice. All right, I believe everything here is fine. I believe that's that's fine. Uh, so let's have been well let me show you. Of. You know what? I wonder if I can actually hold a torch while I do this. We can get a little light on the subject. So here's Nicodemus. Um, he's going to task us with something that actually. Well, speaking of what Chili was just talking about, let's take care of that right now. You're the one who's in charge of the wounded. Yes, I'm the infirmarius here. Monks so old they can't hold themselves up with their own legs. Oh, if that were the only bodily function they could control. Ew. But I shouldn't talk like Henry that. Henry drunk picking flowers. I was relatively live, sober, I think. I think. All right. Okay, so now, based on the information that I acquired from talking and and checking out all the injured, uh, you now have options to talk to Nicodemus about the issue. So, how are the wounded from? Let's kind of go through it and learn what he has Some to say. Some of them are well taken care of, but others, others so are much. dying here needlessly. It's a good thing we have Johanka here. I'd never be able to manage on my own. Uh. How can I help? How can I help you? Have you talked to Johanka? I did. Well, if you know something about it, then go and take a look. However, you don't look like you've studied the Hippocratic arts. Oh, that's true. I'm the son of a blacksmith, but I have been around the wounded before. What do I do if I'm not sure of the treatment? Come and speak to me. We'll see what we can do. All right. I probably will just go with my gut. Thank you. Quiet. What happened to Philip? Philip? He's unconscious. He's shivering and he has a fever. Ah, I didn't know that. When he first came here, he was fine. No wounds on him. He was escorting the others. Then he got worse and worse until he lost consciousness entirely. Ask him. All right, so I love that everything you ask this guy is just, just go ask your honka. Yes, I'm the lead guy around here, but ask her. I'm busy. Okay, so Belladonna, this is actually one of the uh, the things that I really want to get a bunch of, so I'm just going to buy all 10. Belladonna, its own a very poisonous herb. Uh, cave mushrooms as well. Hell yes. And Comfrey, that's actually the purple-haired, purple-haired, purple-colored flower that heals. That's the one that the other sick guy was talking about. Uh, Eye Bright, I believe I need that as well to make the, um, uh, to make... The uh, night vision one I was talking about, I think. And then bandages. I don't know how many I just used, so I'm just going to buy five. Why not? Why not? And then we're also going to need to find out uh, how to make a lullaby potion. I think we already do, but I'm going to find out just in case. All right, check the basket. Can I sell you anything? Oh, yeah, I can sell him a couple of useless things. One of these. We might have to take Teresa out on another date because I got a sweet new outfit. All right, sell the moonshine. A couple of pretzels. I always get way ahead of I'd myself, like realize, the and then realizing that the uh, hmm. it's a it's a it's a poor alchemist essentially. He ain't got no money. Is this enough? You're a right pig. Let's see if I can get it for zero. See now? Hey, all right, for zero. Nice. Okay, so we've got a couple things. So the coolest thing in this game, in my opinion, is the alchemy. Well, one of the coolest things. Uh, again, once you 
kind of get used to the rhythm and how it all works. It's a super fun little mini game, very unique. Okay, so the torch does go out. So what you do is once you're interacting with the alchemy table itself, you then look at the book and you read it. Step one, done. Front page right here so far. So uh, save your schnapps. So I'm kind of covering up with my camera the uh, the options for what you can do here but basically from the top down you can prepare it just by holding the activate button auto brew once you get a little bit le more leveled up in your alchemy skill you can just start banging out potions so especially once you've i think once you've made it once and you're at level six i think you have the option to start auto brewing one potion at a time and then that grows to three and i think I think maybe five. I can't remember, but either way, it's a great one to have uh, just to knock out a bunch of really useful... Like if you make Savior Schnapps, Nighthawk, and a couple of things, it's just good to have them on deck. All right, so Savior Schnapps, Moonshine. I don't need Moonshine. Nighthawk! All right, cool. So I can actually make this one right now, and you can see everything that I'm going to need. So you use water, one Cave Mushroom, two Eye Bright, and one Belladonna. Uh, and then if you look over to the left there, you can see it tells you how to make that potion so you'll need water two handfuls of eyebright one of belladonna and a cave mushroom grind the eyebright drop the eyebright and belladonna into the cauldron boil eyebright and belladonna for three turns there's an hourglass you turn and then you add the cave mushroom and distill so this is super super easy uh okay so i try not to look at the book once i start but so okay grind the eyebright so grind two eyebrights drop it in with one belladonna boil it three times and then distill it with a mushroom so, easy enough. So I'm going to go ahead and try it out. Now, the way I like to do it, like any proper cook, you get your mise en place ready. So, you've got all of your items. As you uh, select a re recipe, it'll automatically put your things up here. So, it's said to uh, grind the eye bright. So, we're going to grind two of those. You're going to interact with it once. How do I interact with it? How? What the hell? Did it not activate? I can't sleep again. Oh, right. Okay. So, <laughs> right. My dumbass. So, before you uh, can get started, you have to put in the liquid first. So, super easy. You just start with this. But, like I said, I get my mise en place ready. So, get the uh, get your water in. Now, if I'm being honest, I've never done this one on PC, so hopefully it goes nice and smooth. All right, so I'm going to take two eye bright, and I'm going to go ahead and plop it right into my mortar. Boom. I'll do that one more time. My eye bright right here. And just to make it real easy on me, before I grind that up, I'm going to go up to the belladonna, which I just need one. I'm going to place that in my serving dish. Now, go ahead and grind up my mortar and pestle. Get that eye bright all, all smushed together. Hey, Joel Benton. Good evening, my friend. Welcome in. Great to see you. Uh, George Benton was just here. You may have just missed him, but welcome in, my friend. Great to see you. Thanks for being here. And thanks once again for contributing so much to the uh, comments on previous videos. I appreciate you, my man. All right. So now that we've ground our eye bright, we've got our belladonna in the dish. We will now add this to the dish just to make it easy so we know that everything is there. And then I'm going to take this dish, drop it right in to the cauldron. Okay, so now the fun part. So now, depending on what your system you're using, whether it be Xbox or, or PS, uh, PlayStation or or computer itself, your controls be different, of course, and you can't even see them behind my head. But actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. Just for a second here. Show you what I'm talking about. There we go. So you, now you can at least see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to start picking up the bellows. So I'm just going to pull this lever, and that's going to get this nice and hot. Now, I just kind of get it going as much as I can. You'll see a rapid boil. And at this point, you can then interact with the hourglass right up here. And I think it's right around 10 seconds. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you don't actually have to, uh, you don't actually have to turn the hourglass every single time. You can just kind of keep track in your head. So like right now, we're right around... 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. But then just for fun, I will do it one more time, just so that I know. And pretty much, I'm gonna let it all boil. I'm gonna let it calm down because I don't wanna boil the mushroom as well based on the recipe. So that hourglass is now out. And so the safe bet 
One, I'll know that it's thoroughly cooked. I know that it's all done together. I'm going to let the boil reduce, which should be any second now. And once that is done right there, I'm going to add my cave mushroom. And then I'm just going to go to the still, which I'll actually have to grab a, so you grab a file, a vial, sorry. And then your distillation. That completes the potion. Just one more hit on the bellows. Boom. And just a really interesting sort of peek into, hopefully this worked out, is this our first successful potion? Boom. You've brewed the Nighthawk potion. Nailed it. And so again, we have enough. We can do it real quick again. So you know what? I'm just going to do it again. We're going to get our alchemy up there, but also I'm going to see if I can get it a little bit quicker this time. So once again, boom, water. Uh, but like I said, I really like the, uh, I really like the, um, the alchemy in this. It's really fun. And once you, again, you get the rhythm of it, you, you feel like you're really cooking up a storm. Now, I'm just going to get the water going right away because I, I think the light is really nice. And the water will not ever boil out. You can just, you can just keep, keep putting it in or keep boiling away and you'll be just fine. All right. Again, we're going to grind the eye bright. Grind that up just to have this for later. I'm going to add the belladonna to the plate. Now, you don't have to put the put ingredients on the plate. You can throw it right into the... You can put it right into the... Um, into the pot. You're totally fine. All right, grind her up. All right, so this is actually perfect. So we got that in there. We're gonna add the belladonna and then just get it cooking for 30 seconds. You know, just for fun, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try this here. Once I get it, uh, I'm gonna start a timer on my phone, and I think this will work out just fine. All right, we're gonna get this back up to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, I'm gonna hit start. to see how this goes and again you can just pull that thing get it boiling should be about halfway I'll give it one more pull just in case should be about about five more seconds but I think again I'm just gonna let it all cool down boom that's 30 seconds right there and that should be good to go soon as that bubble stops. All right, but once we make this one, then we're going to bang out a lullaby potion. Man, okay, so that boil, as you can see, the boil goes on for quite a bit of time. That's actually a, a long, long boil, so you're pretty good to deal with that. All right, mushrooms in. Distill the whole thing. Boom. Done. All right. Beautiful. Nice. Two for two. Oh, I love it. So I'm going to... Okay, so I think I can do that one more time, actually, because I have uh, one more cave mushroom. But just in case, so now we have the lullaby right here, which you can see one poppy, one one herb de Paris, and one thistle. So very simple, and we're going to be using oil as that. But I don't have the ingredients, so hopefully... Hopefully... Mr. Nicodemus will supply. All right, so what did we say? We said, and actually, you know what? A lot of these, a lot of times I just end up buying a lot of this stuff because you're going to need it if you're going to give yourself any, any time underneath the, uh, the alchemy bench. Let's talk about the, well, and here you go, buddy. I'm just gonna, I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you five whole groschen. Here you are. Thanks. All right. So once again, read your recipes. Now I will tell you, it gets a little exhausting once you have a lot of recipes and you're sitting here flipping through the damn thing trying to find it. It's kind of hilarious. All right. Now I didn't read the directions there. 
All right, so prepare oil, a handful of poppy, so one of each. Drop the poppy in the cauldron, boil for 10 seconds. Add the thistle, boil for 10 more seconds. Leave to cool, and then add the herb de perdi. Okay, very good. So this is about as simple as you can imagine. So, yeah, so boil the poppy, boil the thistle, cool, peri. I think it was oil. Boom. Hey, kitty cat. I want to say it said, uh, all right, poppy first. The situation like this, toss it in. Boom. One, two, three. Three pulls get you boiling. Four and five gives a safe measure. Just for fun, we'll turn this. While we're holding that, so then we boil the thistle with it next. Three, two, one. Toss in the toss in that. And then hopefully this timing should hopefully work out where this will end right about at the right time. So I don't want it sounds like it's getting a little low. Yep, all right, so it might be a little low, or I might have totally saved it. I'm just going to let it do its thing to the end here. Boom, leave it to cool, toss in the herb, and then I think... I can't. I just can't. Then I think just a regular file finish. Beautiful. All right, lullaby potion. Check. Done and done. A little light on the subject. There you go. I've got something for you. Really? Drink this, and you'll fall straight to sleep. Oh, thank you. Good luck to you. Yeah, go to sleep. Boom. That guy's done. Now the comfrey, I believe, is this guy. <sighs> Hopefully I have what you need. Then you go in uh, for this guy, deliver this. I don't know, he just needs one, okay. Thank you. With any luck, I'll soon be feeling better. If you find the time, stop by to see me in a few days. May the Lord have... All right, cool, cool, cool. So Dear once, Mistress yeah. Mistress Johanka, I come again in admiration of your selfless dedication. I would like to invite you to a fine banquet at my palace. You certainly have earned some... Man, I just can't stand this guy. What business have you here, fellow? Who let you in? Excuse me? I'm taking care of the wounded, as I'm sure you're aware. Ah. Well then, run along and take care of them and let me... All right, well, while I'm waiting on this guy, I'm also going to move my... Oh, back over here. There we go. That feels better. Okay, so I have never. Your hunker oh, doesn't need any shoot from you. Good man. You will talk to me in an appropriate manner, you uh, maggot. Uh, that sucks. Understand? I didn't try to click that. I was just changing the uh just changing my screen. Uh okay, so I, I tried to mouth off to him by accident. So I am going to be nice because I don't want to go to jail and lose some of my skills, so. Yes. Custodian. Oof, that one hurt. Um, my speech is not as high as I was hoping for. So if I ask him to have the banquet here and I don't pass, I'm going to go to jail. You know, she's grown. I won't intrude. Custodian. That's what I like to hear. Well, your hunker has my invitation, so I look forward to seeing her soon. All right, so really, you know, that's fair. He was just trying to ask her out. Once again, if I got in the way and I failed it, I'd end up in jail. I would lose bonuses. I would lose some skills. And yes, exactly. I had to swallow my pride. And you know what? That's okay. Sometimes you got to take the high road. <laughs> Megadon Hall, get arrested, buddy. I'm a local hero. I'm a I'm a legend around these parts already, and I just got here. I am a tournament champion. <clears throat> that said, I still want to punch that guy right in the neck. 
Okay, so these two, I have to go figure out. Some, oh, that's right. I want to talk to Yohanka about these two, actually. Figure out what the hell's Greetings, going on with them. Greetings, Henry. Greetings. Uh, Custodian is obnoxious. Yeah, what's wrong with the man with the bandage? What's bandage wrong leg? with that man by the altar? He doesn't look wounded, but he's really pale and doesn't react at all. He mm, had a broken a leg. A bad one. The bone had come right through the skin. Wah. We tried to straighten it, but I don't know if we did it right. I'm not holding out much hope for him. I've seen folk in that state before, and it didn't end well. Let's we'll see what we can oh, do. Henry's healing hands. And what do Here to you help. suggest? The monks won't help, and I don't know anyone else who can. This guy. Let me do it. I'll straighten it. Well, I can try. I'll straighten his leg. You? Unfortunately, I've had occasion to try this sort of thing before. You have to place the bones as precisely as you can next to each other. It's hard, but you have to ignore any screams of pain. That's the only way to help him. Oof, that just sounds well, miserable. Fine. Try it then. All right, I will. What happened to Philip? Poor man. But do you know why? Maybe. He didn't run away from Scalitz, you see. Mm. He hid for days among the corpses. <sighs> if he got poisoned. But what? Us. Nothing. Only Father Simon might have been able to save him. He knew a lot about poisons. And where is he? He's... You know he left Scalitz. You know ago. where Father's... And does anyone Father know where he ended up? <laughs> if you believe the stories about a wild man in the woods, then Rovnar is the place to go. Hey, what's up? Welcome in, Damon Preble. Great to see you. Uh, glad you're feeling better. Thank you very much, and I appreciate the well wishes along the way. That was very kind of you. Luckily, it was just uh, seemed like a 24-hour... 24 hour thing, but also the excitement of today's incredible announcement rose me from my slumber uh, with great haste because it was well worth it. That custodian Sebastian is really obnoxious. He can be unpleasant, but in his own way. Oh, Johanka, fall into the charms. You can't be serious. What's that supposed to mean? And anyway, mind your own business. I won't interfere. Be with you. Uh, Henry from Scalis is asking. How are you with archery? Now, I like to think I'm pretty good for a game that has a difficult archery component. Let's set this guy's leg in the meantime. Settle in. Oof. Are you holding him firmly? Oh boy. Aye. Right. Right. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Oof. Sorry, bud. You'll thank me in the long run. Done. Yeesh. All right. So, pretty much the only thing I have left to do in this place now is I got to find a priest who knows about some poisons to help poor Philip from Scalitz. Now, this is one of those times we talked about at the beginning of the game where if you don't take care of something now, you do not have another chance. So, you got to make sure you're not spending a whole lot of time uh, putzing around waiting for something to happen or or just, you know, going and playing Farkle for six days. Philip will die if you if you leave him to his to his own devices. So, I'm going to head right up to Robna. Which is a town very close to Scalitz. While we're there, we are going to take part in a little quest that's been in my quest log for far too long, and it's driving me kind of crazy. So let's go ahead and actually, we're going to set a marker here for the new DLC quest, and we're going to make our way there. Yeah. Um, but you know what? What the hell? Let's show you what we spent so much time uh, brewing just now, because I can always make more, and it's pretty cool. Nighthawk, all right, so how much is this going to fill me up? Five nourishments. Always make sure you're not stuffing yourself on a potion. Is that my only one? I thought I made two. Oh, wow. I have four. Awesome. Even better. Now, check this out. Look at that. It's yeah. the middle of the night, and it is daytime. I absolutely love this potion. Yeah. It's, I think, one of the best in the game. Um, but yeah, Henry, I think I'm pretty good with the archery. Why do you ask? I feel like a challenge is coming soon. Uh, but Damon, how the hell are you doing? It's great to see you in chat there. Uh, hopefully your day's been going well. We just were kind of reek. What is this? Oh, well, that's a lovely little grave. I think I've ever seen this before. Wow. Christian Smith. I can't dig up your grave. What a beautiful spot. I mean, if you're going to be buried somewhere, that's a lovely location. And this is not... Look at this eye bright. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> yeah. You know, chili su unsurprisingly or surprisingly, no margaritas to help the healing process. Um, yeah. I would say aside from like 
wine training at work and a couple of drinks like honestly m maybe four drinks total since uh since december it's been pretty sober in the real grog household which is pretty nice and uh trying to kind of cut the booze out as you'll see not a lot of margaritas on yeah. margarita monday anymore but nothing wrong with it that's you know there to each his own of course enjoy and imbibe respons responsibly um <laughs> Chili Santa says, I loaded up my old save of KCD and I was in the forest poaching skins and committing highway robbery. Your Henry and my Henry are very different people. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'd say that tracks. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. yeah, let me know everyone out there who has their own Henry. What's what's your Henry like? I know that we've got a forest golem. And again, by the way, can you believe how bright it is? It, it's incredible. I love yeah. this potion so much. Incredible. All right, so this is the tiny town of, what's it called again? Semopesh. And I think, honestly, outside of this DLC, there's not a lot to uh, to keep you busy here. But this DLC quest... Just, yeah, just go and relieve yourself there. Mutt, that's great. All right, so it is the middle of the night, believe it or not, so I... Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of at the. I'm, I'm here at the wrong time. I'm here at a terrible time to, to go interact with this quest giver. What time is it anyway? Oh my God! It's 11:30. Yep. Open the door. There we go. You know who I need. Hey, dog! Shut up! All right. Well, now it's open. I didn't pick a lock, so. I'm just trying to talk to your husband. Oh. All right, now he'll probably tell me just to get the hell out. So maybe I'll start make, making way there. Okay, so that won't work. Oh, oh, come on. I, I barely barged in. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been in town for five minutes and I'm already sure with the law. around where you don't belong and ignoring warnings. This definitely won't come cheap. You learn crime doesn't pay. Uh, let's see. How about... Watch your step. All right, that's enough. Maybe you didn't realize, but I'm in the... Ah, uh, I didn't... Yeah, get out of here. I could still hit it. I could still head ahead from a mile away with my arrow, though. Still got it, says Chili Santa. I never doubted you, my friend. All right, so I would, I would at least like to. Well, okay, okay. If I can get a room here, let's get a room here just to have one. Good day to you. I like to have one everywhere. Nope, I can't. Interesting. Fight the guards. Take this town over. <laughs> Well, if you want to have a takeover of some sort, let your wardrobe yeah. be taken over. As you can see, the stream element spot is letting us know that we have real grog merch available. There's a link in the bio of this video. And feel free to go check yeah. that out if you are not familiar. There's a great merch store with lots of stuff from t-shirts, tank tops, hats, phone cases, all that fun yeah. stuff. But go feel free to check it out and give it a peruse. See if there's anything you like or anything you want to see in the store. Let me know. Drop a comment on the video after the fact. And I'll definitely look into creating some of that if you're new around here and yeah. you want to rep some real grog merch. Speaking of takeovers, skulls of the skull throat. Yeah. Oh boy. All right. So uh, I don't want to waste my potion because it's so beautiful. So let's go ahead and we're just going to come back for that quest. So I'm going to fast travel up to Rovna. <laughs> yeah. Mega John Hall and Chili Santa. I feel like is a is a band of bro or a oh our man. Yes, please. Uh, oh, my potion's gone. I'm, not gonna... I'm gonna. I'm gonna guess this is the. Uh, is this the night again? Good, Goodman. Beautiful. We All right. So if you all remember this guy, we have met before. We have. Uh, I accept. Why not? Excellent. I see. I have no fear. Damn! Oh, oh, oh. All right, so this guy's great. Just a uh, just a classic knight NPC who just wants to battle. Just to battle. He's an awesome guy. He doesn't really stand a chance against a tournament winner and champion. 
And I, I will admit, though, as much as I, uh, as much as I do like just battling the guy just to battle him, keep your skills up, I do wish there was a reward. I do like, I, I am a gamer at the end of the day, and I, I like my rewards. All right, but we are close to Ravna. Hey. Yeah. Uh, did you play the new KCD2 trailer? I did not. I wasn't totally sure if I would be allowed to on the channel, so I did make a little post. Uh, allowing or, uh, the links to the video that was posted by Warhorse Studios, but I didn't do it myself. I just didn't want to risk it um, yet, but I, I do plan on showing that in the future uh, if the, if that seems to be all cool with them. All right, so here is Ravna. A tiny little burned out town because Scalitz, if you, if you recall, is right at the top of the hill right over there so right in that direction is our hometown of scarlet's we are going to stop there super duper quick and uh, and go grab something but in the meantime while i've got this beautiful night vision potion i'm just trying to find a little somebody to talk to in this 99 percent uh, abandoned town Uh, yes, but it, 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 it looks absolutely incredible. Uh, all right, so this is the guy I need to talk to. I'm honored that you should come to me. I see there's not much going on around here. Quite so, all by myself. Do you think folk will ever go back to their homes? Well, I don't know about Scalit, but the folk here are sure to want to come back. Do you mean the priests? Yeah, Indeed. When the land's at war, noblemen fight to protect their property. But simple folk want someone to tend their souls. Aye. Of course. But it was the Scalitz parish priest who ministered <laughs> here, wasn't it? He did. But there's been no sign of him since the attack. Or at least he's definitely not. Yeah, chilly gets me. <laughs> and and so, yeah, enough, Damon, actually, I'm glad you said I got that new there. 2024 but polish on the new graphics. Color, and that is what I was referencing when I was saying uh, that that's what I want modernized. I just want it all to look updated, and boy, does it. Oh, it looks incredible. Uh, I don't know the release date of KCD2 yet, but the fact that we get to even be talking about that right now is it's, it's just incredible. Uh, I can ask. I can always ask. I've really got... I can help with that. A few years ago, there used to be another priest in Scalitz. Simon. I... I know. That's not a story I've come across. It only reaches folk who care for such tales. Well, to finish the story, Simon left the parish and ran away. There was neither sight nor sound of him for a long time. And what's he doing here? That's just it. All right. I couldn't tell you exactly. But you could start by talking to that girl's parent. Well, they live on a farm nearby, uh. and it's likely they know more. I'll All right, so basically this priest with, worry. slept with the girl, and everyone was like, whoa, you can't do that. And he was like, yeah, I'll just leave. And then he left. Just a long, drawn-out thing. Yeah. That's the one thing that, well, that I do enjoy about this game, and also at the same time go, come on, is, is everyone's yeah. just kind of talk and talk and talk, and it takes forever. I gotta say though, the night the Nighthawk potion gives, in my opinion, the most beautiful aesthetic to the game. I think the light, the colors, the lighting on everything, it is the best at this time when you have this, especially at night. Oh, I mean, obviously at night, drinking it at the daytime is a complete waste, but all right, we are gonna get sidetracked and take out a bunch of cumins. Oh wow, okay, one, two, three, four, five. All right, let's see how this goes. <laughs> All right, nice. Got that first kill. And the second one. Dog, get out of the way. Boom. Oh, you Koomans are funny. You're not supposed to win at all.
Come on. There we go. That's better. Let's see that one more. Uh, now to answer Henry's question, let's see if I am a good archer at all. Let's see if I can pull any of this off. Oh, damn it, I don't think I have my bow equipped. But I've got arrows. Alright, cool. I'm bleeding. That ain't cool. Alright, now this is my new... My new longbow. Oh, that was close. All right. So, I'm a, so to answer Henry's question, I'm a terrible archer. Uh, whoop! Nice little circle strafe. There we go. All right. Now I feel better. Take a couple of nice things. Quality arrows. Love me some quality arrows. All right, I promise you, we are staying on. To we're, we're staying on topic. We're staying on task. I promise. I'm not getting sidetracked. Oh man, see now people are starting to carry a lot of gold on them though. And like I said, we're gonna. So the plan from here, we're gonna swing up to Scallops, take care of something super duper quick uh, that I've just wanted to take care of for a while, especially as we're getting to the. Um, to the next part with with Primislavitz. You know me, I always got to give a little repair afterwards. Ah, oh, I'm out of repair kits. That goes, they go so quick. All right, do I have any on my horse still? Damn. All right. Yeah, armor kits go super duper quick in this. But while we're here, let's go ahead and get our strength upgraded a little bit. Now, at this point, I don't really care about carrying dead bodies. Boar might be nice because you can run into people. Um, actually, I am going to do boar because I can, I've can. i been doing that a lot. I've been charging into people and then kind of smashing them against a lot. So this one's great because you'll have 20% greater strength, agility, warfare, and defense in a fight where you're outnumbered. Almost always, I'm outnumbered. Furious is pretty good though. The more wounded, the more the more wounded, uh, the more you are wounded, the stronger your attacks. Uh, yeah, so I think against all odds. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's head on up here. Um, <laughs> Chili likes to think that Henry just yells that he won a tournament when he wins a sword fight every single time, every single time. And that he's Henry Escalitz, bitch. Exactly. Yeah, you get me. Yeah. Henry's got a lot to say. Yeah. You got to represent the hometown, you know? Speaking of which. Yeah, okay. So we're coming up on Scalitz yeah. here. And there might be a little bit more of a fight. Henry is, Henry is an absolute legend. 100%, I agree. All right, now right behind me is actually a little little village I'll have to take, take part in. Now, if you recall, at the end of last stream, or maybe halfway through or so, I gained a new perk, which will allow me to sleep or rest. Uh, one, I don't lose health, energy, or uh, nourishment as I wait in one place. Contemplative. But also, I am now a revenant, so I actually heal as I sit and relax. All right, so now this town is going to be overrun with bandits and the like. Yep, so we're going to go ahead and... Oh my god! <laughs> Oof. Oh, two for two! Oof. Three for three. Wow. Wow. So as long as my target is directly in front of me, I'm a hawk. <laughs> that was, oof, that was gruesome. <laughs> Call that the hat trick. All right, now, I do not recommend coming to Scarlet's uh, underprepared or ahead of time. Definitely make sure that you are, uh, you know, you got some armor on, you got some beef, you can take some damage. 
but once you get in here goodness gracious it is a loot fest so pretty much since you've been gone um Cumans and bandits and everyone in between have been fighting over the scraps of this area so i'm coming in at the 11th hour and just gathering all this high-end gear remorselessly and since they're all pieces of crap that you know are storming a storming foreign places this is totally fair totally fair to take all their stuff the real reason we came here is right over here so um Kunesh, if you remember the guy that we had a problem with back in the day, he kept, he kept, uh, I'm sorry, he, he was shirking his responsibilities to our dad. And oh, okay, so that's actually a, an old guard, so that's good people, good people, I'm not gonna do that. But he says there's a treasure buried somewhere underneath a dove coat. And I believe that this is what a dove coat is, which is actually somebody hanging or, or actually, no, I'm sorry, it's not that. It's, it's this little dove hutch sort of thing. It took me forever to figure out what the hell that meant. Um, but what that means is that right here... Oops. But pretty much you could, you could scour the entire place trying to find what you're looking for, but I'll just show you. So underneath this thing, right here, at the pretty much right at the front of the village. You dig in. Well, Good fella. praise your dog because he got in the way of your commands. Course. Nice! All right, hey, good timing then. You love. Give him a little meat. Go eat. Now I'm gonna dig. But thank you. Not bad. Not bad. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm excited for the next gen update for Fallout 4 at the end of the month and the Remnant 2 DLC. Okay, I was very curious about the. I literally bought Fallout 3, New Vegas, and Fallout 4 because they're having a huge Fallout sale. Uh, on. St oh shit! This is wrong. Okay, so this isn't the, this isn't the right thing. This is just a bunch of old battered clothing, perhaps an old grave. That's disgusting. So we need to find a different dove coat. Uh, not that one. Where oh where? Um, but okay, so I saw that again. Once again, if you're not a part of the of the uh, not a part of the Discord, definitely feel free to click click the link in the bio of this video and uh, and join in the Discord. It is free to join and just a good way to kind of keep up to date on what we're doing around here at Real Grog. Uh, so actually, Kitty Corner, that's right. So Kitty Corner over by Kunesh's old house, because that makes sense that he would bury something by uh, by his own abode, I believe. Or maybe I'm just giving advice that I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Where is this dove coat? But somewhere in this town, yeah, you'll find the little buried treasure. Hmm. But it's not by his. I feel like I'm close, but I'm just missing it. We'll track it down. Yeesh. Yeesh, this place is just battered to hell. Uh, New Vegas is the absolute best fallout. You know, it is hard to dispute that. It really, really is. Um, and really, I would say arguably the thing that really makes that distinction so true are the DLCs. I think that that's what really fleshed out that game beautifully. Uh, and of, of course, don't get me wrong. Like I love New Vegas. I'm very excited to replay that as well. But yeah, I think the DLCs are really what drove that home. You know what I mean? All right, I just realized I'm really putzing around. We are well too far into this stream, and I have not done anything in the main story uh, for the most part. So we're going to go ahead and pick up the damn pace. Ah, here we go. Okay, so it's just kind of tucked away. So yes, it was very close to the front entrance, uh, just slightly off. But yeah, it's uh, New Vegas is incredible. And I, I wasn't sure what Chili was talking about earlier in the Discord, but uh, apparently, yeah, there's going to be a, uh, a next-gen update for Fallout 4, which is incredible and the Remnant 2 DLC. That sounds great to me. I'm all about it, I think. Okay, so, and this is what we came here for, some Groshen and Baron's Cup. That might not make a lot of sense, but one of the- It's here. That Kunash wasn't lying. For once. Oh, I know this guy. Um, Baron is actually one of our- Baron. Yes, exactly, one of our former townsfolk. I saw him in Ratai among the refugees, wearing red as always. Now what? 
All right. So now Baron, we're going to go track him down next time we're in Rete, but there's no rush on that. Uh, I'm going to take a bunch of this stuff because I want it fair and square. Look at this. Look at this. Just racking it up. I love these, the sort of teal Richards or whatever they're called. Ooh, so much, so much expensive stuff. Uh, but it is funny on, on the topic once again. Look at this. 1.8 for this helmet. Gee, mini cricket. 42 for the axe. Beautiful. All right, now I'm nice and overloaded, so I'm going to be filling up the horse's inventory here pretty quick. All right, horse, horse. Don't equip it. Ah! Uh, hey, Vault 5 Dweller, welcome in, my friend. Great to see you. The DSLs are great in New Vegas, but for me, it was the com Companions. Yes, absolutely. It's rare for me to be able to rattle off, uh, rattle up the names of Companions years after release. That's totally fair. Yeah, and uh, I, so as I said in the chat a bit earlier, I uh, I have, I, I, I re-bought all of the, uh, all of the, all of the Fallout games right now, and I started up a playthrough of each one just to kind of dive back in for a second, and and it was so great, but it, the first thing I was thinking of um, were the companions. And actually watching the show, uh, with no spoilers, because I, I don't know where everyone is, but there's a, there's a moment where I was like, that's a companion moment. And, uh, and I really loved how it was kind of squeezed into the show really subtly. But it made me think of the companions in the previous games. And yeah, that New Vegas, again, I'm not disp disputing the fact that it is the best. I think it is. I have the, most, the strongest connection to three. And I think there's a, a much different vibe and much different energy that just can't be compared to it. It, it can't be matched in the uh, in the other games. Three had, in my opinion, something really special and thematic about it. Just the, the way the whole world felt, the grittiness, the griminess, the depth of the immersion in that world, even in its simplicity. And what I mean by that is like the animation style, the, the art style, everything. You know, it's it's every shade of brown you could ever want. Uh, Okay, so I am also, sorry, while I'm up here, I am going to take care of this. We're going to undo at your service for now, and then do this one instead. All right, and actually... All right, so we're just going to go chat with the housekeeper that I think he had an affair with or something like that, but... Um... Yeah, 3 was always my favorite Fallout. Uh, subways are still scary. Love the brother. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that was that was one of my first real adventures with... Uh, actually, it was my first real adventure with Fallout. So, of course, it always has a special place. But just the way that the world felt one so lived in, so much history to it. And just the feeling. I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know how to explain it, but... The way that the griminess of this world and the and the faux yeah. pop cheeriness of Vault Tech contrasted with the bleak outlook, but then also the wackiness. It, it's the same feeling I get watching the show. Yeah. It gives me that same feeling of excitement and just sort of believability, I guess. But I don't know. Three is uh, three is something else. But that said, four. I love the building in God four. I've always thought if you took the building in four and gave it to three, ah, ah incredible. God be with you. I'm looking for the priest, Father Simon. Simon? I want to talk to him. That's all you need to know. For a lad who wants information, you aren't being too civil about asking. But you got straw Very in well. your hair. What is it you want to know? Where can I find him? I heard that too, and I'm inclined to believe it. How come? After our poor Mary went to her rest, we used some of the money he'd paid us to put a cross up by the roadside. And lately, there's been wreaths of comfrey turning up next to it. I don't take them there. All right, so this guy Simon is... Simon is dropping off flowers on the grave. Maybe it's a miracle. I see. Uh, where is that cross? Can you tell me where that cross is? Certainly. She needs to clean up. She really does, Henry. She really does. Uh, Rahul is my favorite. On the hill above them in the woods, there are several Oh, my God, Rahul. Wow. Man. 
I will admit, some of them have kind of right. slipped from my mind. Right. And yeah, I forgot about Rahul. Roll in the... I see what you did there, Damon. Nicely done. Little roll in the... All right. Go to the cross. I'll be going. going. Very good, then. I'll tell him. Now, you have the option to uh, chat her up and learn the whole sordid history and all that stuff. I don't care. I just want to find the guy. I want to yeah. fix Simon. I want to get out of here. My horse is being thwarted by a tiny curb. Yeah. Ah, man, I, I keep thinking about some of those battle scenes that we saw in the trailer today, though, and they looked so fluid. They looked so good. And I'm really hoping that a lot of that was was as close to an alpha build as possible because it looked really nice. You can definitely see some areas in the trailer that were designed for, or not designed, but like there was a little room for improvement. But still, I'm super hopeful that we will get that wind that 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 uh, 2024 release window is accurate. I ah, I just can't wait, and the timing is just insane. I mean, again, you know, because of because of this channel, because of the real ones. That's why they're releasing the game. We all know that, that that's true, but secondarily, there's lots of people out there that really wanted this to happen. All right, where, where, what, what the hell am I doing here? Yeah, I deserve that. Ah, okay, so I need to go far, far to the other side of town. So my plan is we're going to find this priest. We're going to go back to, uh, we're going to go back to Sasau. We're going to help the last of the yeah. wounded. We're then going to take the crown of Moldavite. We're going to take yeah. that and the keg of wine. Take it over to uh, Stephanie of Tomberg. Yeah. Talk to Robard. Get an updated quest on the uh, bandits in the area or the Cumans in the area. And that, damn it. And then, yeah. and then I think we swing down to Mehoyed and we start investigating yeah. even deeper into what may have plagued that town because there's something happening there that yeah. we uh, we need a bit more information on. So uh, our Lord Reds in Kabbalah has taxed us with figuring out the issues there. So that's what we're going to do, damn it. Yeah. So if you were uh, Rogar Channel driving the gaming industry, we are the pioneers. Pay attention, Steam. See, Damon, you get me. <laughs> I'm glad. Uh, I'm so egotistical. Um, but so let me ask you, friends. If we were to fill in the time between Kingdom 1 and Kingdom 2, which Fallout game would you like to see streamed? And I'm not adding 76 into the mix because that is not part of the canon, in my opinion. All right, now I'm trying to find this cross, which I think is on the side of the road right here. We are pioneers. All right, so beautiful. Uh, this must beautiful be that okay. cross. Mary's mother was right. Someone did lay flowers here recently. <laughs> oh, mutt! That is so disrespectful. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that's too good. That is too good. Wow. Uh, you know, Damon does have an excellent point here. Or instead I have of a look around game, and see if there's comfrey growing anywhere nearby. Here's a bunch of comfrey. Oh, wow. All right, so I found some comfrey. More comfrey. And look what we have here. Some people up in the middle of the woods. That does not look comfortable. Did, did anybody else see my dog hey, pissing all over that, that lady's grave, though? Oh, that was hilarious. Uh, I've come for Father Simon. I've come for the priest. Simon. There's no one here called... There is. Do you take me for a fool? Don't make right. me kill you. 
I am Maybe a tournament champion. What of it? We're not going anywhere. All right, so let's go ahead and ransom. No, we don't play that game. Holding a sorcerer captive, not a good idea. I love that little trickery. Tomber guards, nah. I don't know. Imprisoning a warlock can be a dreadful mistake. What do you want about? Did you say he was a priest? He is, but he's also a warlock, a master of the dark arts. Do you think normal priests go hiding in the woods? <laughs> no, but... Exactly. So if you don't want your eyes to boil up from the inside, your nose to turn into a twisted root, and your tongue into a toad, you better start to run. Now! Oh, Henry, oh, working, some, working no, some angles no, here. No ifs, no buts. Clear out of here. Fine, fine. Just take it easy now. Nailed it. All right, Father Simon. Get out of here, tramp. Hey, you. Are you all right? Ah, yes. Yes, I think so. Oh, what happened to those wretches? They're skulking around here somewhere. Good God! Couldn't you scare them off somehow? I'll see what I can do. Just don't... I just... They just ran up. They literally just left. Oh, thank you, my son. Ah, very good. I was beginning to fear I'd never get out of here alive. I got you. They didn't look dangerous. The only thing at risk was your possessions. I know. Maybe a back door. Fools. But I was afraid they'd leave me here. And to whom do I owe my salvation? My name Henry, Henry of Scallets! You may remember me. I'm the son of the Scallets blacksmith. Your face does seem familiar. It's true. I've come to ask a favor of you. Me? What on earth could I do for you? I need you to go back to St. James. I understand, but I have to disappoint you. I gave up my calling. Instead, I... Oops. I know your story. I know your story, Father. Then you know what I'm guilty of. Yes, and I don't want to try to make light of it. Your conscience is your own affair. You don't know what you're saying. You don't know me. But I know what you did. That doesn't absolve me of my sins. You're certainly right. But the people need you. But I'm a sinner. I'm not fit to guide anyone. Priests, bishops, monks, abbots, they're all sinners. Even the Holy Father himself Yeah, I gave a, a whole sermon about this whole things, thing. And now your people need you. Well, you're probably right. As you say, once things are back in order, there'll be a new priest at St. James, and you can leave if you want. All right. I'll take what I can carry and go back to St. James. Thank, Thank you. you. You're peri- All right. I need help with the treatment. I need help with treatment. Since we got him on our side now. Mm, and what's wrong with you? Or you just forgot oh, and all that, you know, but yeah. Philip from Scalitz is dying. <laughs> He's lying in Sassau and won't last long. Slowly now. What happened to him? Nobody knows much. The Lord have mercy. The living should never lie with the dead. His intestines must be purged. But even then, he's in God's hands. How do I clean his intestines? It might surprise you, but you'll have to give him alcoholic spirits. Ah, sure. The purest you can get your hands on. The best is distilled from Artemisia. It'll make him a bit delirious, but it'll help. All right, cool. So we have learned a new potion that's going to help with Philip. So now, like I said, you want to make sure that you are all an ass back to Sassau uh, to make sure that you can heal up, heal up, heal up uh, Philip ASAP. Now, I'm seeing some debate in the chat, and I love that, first of all, because uh, I like when we have plenty of options for things we want to see. And a great option uh, from uh, from Damon Preble saying, hey, why don't you go back and play Enshrouded? Uh, since we did say we were going to swing back, play some more of that foe. All right, what's up with you? Who's there? What are you doing here? Oh, Time right. Life, are you? So these oh, bandits kind of took over the uh, took over this waterworks sort of <laughs> area. Don't hit my horse. No, no. Um, but so enshrouded is definitely on the table because there are the hollowed halls DLC, and I haven't done any of that to be totally honest. I've I have not played any Enshrouded, and it would be kind of cool to get back, but Chili Santa also making a good point with maybe a return to State of Decay. Uh, John Hall let me know that if there was a Fallout to play, it would be New Vegas, of course, of course. Uh, but at the same time, I am always partial to 3, just because it's always cool to give that introduction, uh, because Vegas has so many amazing different uh, sort of ideas that it's throwing at you. Sometimes it's nice to learn the basics, but um, all of these are great ideas, and... I will admit, I, I do miss State of Decay. I, I love to have everyone in there together 
uh, playing and having a good old time. Oh, sit down. Oof. Henry. Oof, that was close. That's gotta hurt. Father Goodwin loves overseas. Oh yes, we we found out oh, the hard way. Pun intended, I guess. Oh, I'm just like an inch off every time. I will say this bow is powerful. Oh god! Wow, that that dude missed like half an inch. Wow. Some people get. Is there somebody next to me? Come on. Come on. There we go. Right in the guts. Ah, that's what I was getting hit by. Right over the shoulder. Run away! But we can't have that. We can't have a survivor. Come on now, that's just crazy talk. Uh, point blank. Yeah, that was... Oof. That was something. Ooh, let's, should we be cool again? Let's be cool again. Super cool. Henry just on a mission. On a mission. At least you die in a beautiful field of flowers, my friends. People have seen much worse. Man, I can... Oh! I cannot wait to watch these replays back, because, I mean, that was... That's like the fifth point blank shot, just dropping them. Oof. All right, but I want to make this kind of quick because I am, like I said, I'm a little behind schedule. Not like we're on an exact time frame by any means, but I want to, I want to be showing off a little bit more of what we're here to do. We got a little bit of traveling to get through as well, so. Oh boy, it smells real good in my home right now. Alright. Can't believe it. Yeah, I, can, I can believe it, but I'm glad I finally brought this guy down. 500 bucks for the sword? Hell yeah. Alright, and I'll take the silver ring. Throw him down. Never seen that before. Yeah, that was, uh, I, I think that's the second time I've ever done it, and both of them were in this playthrough, so <laughs> I'm working on it, I guess. There we go again, and that's it. Alright, cool. Let's scoot. And I know Narovna, check in with all them real quick. <laughs> uh, I keep wanting to stop for everyone, but I can't. I just got to go. I got to go. I think that was the same armed man that I had a, had a duel with yeah. already. So it's like, I got things to do, buddy. Sorry, you can't stop me every time. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. I found you a priest. Really? <laughs> That's wonderful news. The former parish priest of St. James. So you found him? Yes. Thank God. You'll see. Once there's a priest, people will soon be back. I so, hope so. so. I've oh, put together a small sum for a new piece. So I thought oh, thank you, Miss Marin. Congrats on 268, by the way, with Grog. I just saw that. And thank you all. Thank you all uh, for uh, joining the real ones. There has been a steady uptick in uh, subscribers, and I sincerely do appreciate that. 500 by the end of the year, that's the goal. With all your help, hopefully I can get there, uh, but I certainly do hope so. Uh, no, I can't take any of it. I couldn't possibly take it. As you wish, then. So, farewell to you. And I hope he gets here soon. 
I'll keep an eye on him. Mike. See you later. All right, let's head on out of here. But thank you, Miss Man. I appreciate it. More shorts and shorter form content, and it'll happen, no doubt. I sincerely hope so. And uh, yeah, that's that's my plan. I want to start. Uh, really want to start creating some uh, some mission style breakdowns of Kingdom Come. Um, yeah. It is funny. I've I've been seeing so many videos on like the proper way to do the Pripislavitz raid, where <laughs> where instead of just going in guns blazing like I do it, uh, actually doing it kind of proper, you know. All right, so I'm actually going to let's go ahead and scoot all the way. Oh wait, no, no, no. We're going right to Tallenberg right now because we've got everything for the lady, right? Yeah. So let's just head to Tallenberg. We're gonna drop everything off for the lady. Enjoyed all the new shorts lately for sure. Thank you, Damon. I appreciate that. Now he gets to push up flowers, says Henry. Absolutely. Yeah. I, don't know. I just gotta track down Lady Stephanie. Oop, not behind the locked door. Hey, what's up? Henry. The Lord be praised. What's on your mind? Uh, gosh, you the horse. That's wonderful. There weren't any problems with it, I hope. Nothing too serious. He's a little wild, but I was able to handle him in the end. Well, that won't do. Sophie can't have some wild horse at her wedding starting a stampede. Yeah. But I've learned a trick. If you sing to him, he calms down. You sang to a horse? It's quite true, I'm afraid. I sang to a horse. Oh, well, Henry. Then you'll have to sing something to me, too. My lady, I, I don't know if I... So I know how to calm down that roan. Go ahead, sing. <coughs> um. <coughs> to horses come roaming <laughs> in the merry month of May. Graze in the shade Get it, Henry. of the apple tree there. Ah. Uh, the first one is brown and the second is grey. Which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? Yes, yeah, it's Oh, how beautiful! I'm not surprised the horse calmed down after hearing such a lovely voice. Anyway, I'll <laughs> great, think about great what to do point with there, Chili Santa. Is there actually a you, proper Henry. way to do anything in this game? You know, no. I brought the wine. Absolutely wonderful, not. Wonderful. However, you get to the end. No that's how you get there. No wedding is complete without good wine. Find somewhere here to put it down. I'll send for a servant to bring it later. Problems? Huh. I don't know the meaning of the word. <laughs> Downplay it there, Henry. Love it. As if I didn't know you. I brought you the crown from the master engraver. Henry, you are a gem. <laughs> look at that Moldavite. Isn't it wonderful? Sophie will look like an angel. So what's next? Uh, what can I do for you, my lady? How can I make you serve? I like that little thing. You've Wine done would enough. be safer than water, honestly. Yes, and it absolutely like would. To reward you. That's not necessary, my lady. You taking the time to see me is reward enough. Come now, Henry. No need for such modesty. I appreciate everything you've done for me, as well as your company. And there's something I'd like to give you. Oh, yeah? What's this that? This shirt was my father's. Oh, sweet. He was built very much like you. Broad shoulders, strong chest. It should fit you just right. Beautiful. But, but I can't accept this. It's too valuable. Henry, you're it's worth it. It's too valuable to be left to the mercy of moths. What's more, if you were to leave us again, I'd like you to have something to remember me by. So I could never forget you, my lady. Well what then, a charmer. won't you try it on at least? What? Right now? Why not? Don't worry, I won't look. I'll turn my back. And what if your husband comes in? He won't. Neither will anyone else. All right. All right, then. Sweet new shirt. All right. I feel truly blessed to have you here. So long I yearned for young company. I really feel God heard my prayers and sent you to me. I guess it's not that fancy. That's Ready? nice, though. Pretty nice. My, you do look handsome. Was I wearing those leggings? Handsome gentlemen. When I was a little girl, there were always lots of other children around. So <laughs> young men and dropping in with a sus. Oh no. So merry. Oh no. I always hoped it would be like that when I was grown up too. But 
It was not God's plan. Uh-oh. You and Sir Divish had no children? No. No, alas, we, we were not blessed. Twice I was with child, but they did not live. Damn, that's real. And now I fear there's no hope for me. <sighs> hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're just talking shirts here. My lady. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Oops. No. Oh, no, what have I done? What have I done? Oh, forgive me, my lady. I, I shouldn't have. I don't mind. They shouldn't have. Uh, no, but... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, going to hells. That's chilly sound. <laughs> yeah, but at least I got an achievement for it. Oh, boy. I'm a terrible person. <laughs> Henry, Henry, put that, put that emoji away. <laughs> oh, no. Well, going to hell. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right, well, now that I uh, got a shirt and slept with the Lady of Tomberg, I was hoping I could steal from her, too, but I couldn't do that. All right, so that... Uh... <clears throat> Oops. That wasn't intentional, but here we are. Uh, now we'll just pretend like we don't know each other in the town square. And I'm probably just going to leave. Uh, uh, Teresa oh. Hooves says, <laughs> John... A gamer's dream. Yeah. Achievements for everything. Everything. Yeah. When I when I yeah. although I've already beaten this game on console and I've got all the all the all of the achievements from that. Yeah. It feels real good to get them again on PC. I will tell you, I'm a sucker for achievements. Oh man. Oh, actually, okay. So before we leave town and we head back on down to Rate, where are we going? No, Meharia. Yeah. We're gonna chat to Robard real quick. Get an update on the. Uh, on the next bandit camp. Okay. And then Mehoyed, they have captured a bandit, and it's up to us to interrogate them, uh, which is our next lead in the grand scheme of things here. I've taken care of that camp. Have you brought me proof? Here it is. Well, that is a fine bit of news. Nice. Some farmers from Ujits came to the castle with a complaint. Very well. I'll take a look there. And let's get out of here. Uh, but so yeah, we're gonna make our way over there now, as long as there isn't a bandit camp to distract us once again. It's the exact opposite way, so we are in the clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and zip on over to Mechayed. We love a loyal man only. Yes, I do understand. I, I agree, Miss Marin, 100%. Absolutely. It wasn't intentional. Uh, but we did get a sweet new shirt. So... All right, uh, so now we're in Mechayed. Henry is not loyal. Henry is a... a, a, a I slipped. <laughs> I slipped. The shirt was worth I mean, I mean, you know, like, to be fair. You know, actually, since we are in town, we're going to try to charm some people here. We're going to try to talk them up a little bit. We're going to put on some clean, fancy clothes. And we're going to make... We're going to get our new... Where is it? Shirt from Stephanie. Look at this. Boom. All right, I feel like half of my outfit is on my horse, so I gotta change into that. Yeah. What's the skill? What do we, what do we level up? We leveled up stealth. All right, cool. So let's give it... Lower the noise of armor. Ordinary mug. I do think ordinary mug, actually. Ooh, no, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do crouching chameleon. When crouching without movement, you get a plus 30 stealth. No. Let's do ordinary mug. This way, if you're wanted, people are less likely to recognize your face in a group and will soon stop looking for you. Yes, please. Alright, give me my horse and give me my sweet new duds. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go blue. Hmm. 
which I feel like all my I feel like all my stuff is way too spread out. I could have swore that I reorganized everything earlier, but maybe I didn't. So that's okay. That's just fine. Isn't this what we show up for? Fashion show, Henry. All right, how are we looking there? Take the quaff off. You look like a jabroni. Uh, but we'll throw this on because that gives us level 20. And then I think I should have a... There we go. There we go. All right, so now we're looking good. There we go. That's better. Yeah. Golden sunshine. That's what we're calling that. All right, now. Melikar. Oh, are you Melikar? Aye, oh, that's me. Aye. I need to speak with the prisoner. And why is that? Who might He's you Henry of Scalins, bitch. Exactly. Envoy of Saradze Kobola. I'm here to investigate <laughs> the attack. I'm sorry. I have other things on my mind right now. In case you hadn't noticed, we have pestilence raging here. And Saradzig won't help us with that. Any more than he helped us when we were attacked. All right. Uh, yeah, Saradzig knows nothing about this no plague. No news has reached Ratai of any disease here. But I'm here now, and I can help you. Hmm. Well, since you serve Sir Adzig, you might be of some use. If anyone can be. Tell me what to do. There's a stable hand living with us here, Matthias. I know yes, him. I know him. And he knows some girl who helps out in the monastery infirmary. Your hanker, I think her name is. Yeah, we know her too. She might know someone to turn to. Oh, crap. That's why I want to go to Sasso. I got to go heal Philip. Oh, my God. Uh, I'll go to the monastery and help you. Perfect. Okay, cool. I have to go back there. Uh, Very well. I'll go to the monastery. It's probably our best hope. Thank you. At least for taking the trouble. But then, even if you cared nothing for us, the prisoners got the pestilence too. If I have to go to the monastery, I need to know as much as possible about the disease. I'll definitely need to know its symptoms. They're bound to ask me that. It's hard to say. My wife is feverish. Others have the chills. I heard some are throwing up. Others still Gosh. are breaking out in sores. But why don't you see for yourself? Very well. I'll make the... I've daubed lime on the afflicted houses. But don't stay too long in those homes. <laughs> that I can promise you. God be with you. All right. So we got to this town and we needed to talk to the prisoner. But even before we could get to it, it turns out the town is suffering from a pestilence. And it's up to us to investigate the plague in Mechayed and figure out the source and the cure, uh, which I'm going to do very, very quickly. Melikar is kind of stand in bailiff right now. Um, but so we're got to find houses daubed with lime, just like this. And talk to these sickies. Brother, dearest brother, is that you? Uh, yeah. Yes, it's me, your, um, brother. Please work. I found this nearly here. We need to get the skeletons for the fair. Um, tell me, brother, how are you feeling? Wait, you're, you're not my brother. You're one of those brutes. Brother, lock the door. They're back again. Please uh -oh. go. Brother, don't you recognize me? It's me. <laughs> I'm the, your brother. I was gone for a long time. I've come back home for Advent, remember? Yes. Uh, uh, yes. I remember. Give me a drink of water, brother. Uh, you got it, brother. Terribly thirsty. Good luck to you. All right, so delirious and thirsty. That is sign the first. Wow, you're just... You're just hanging out in here? You're all good? And I don't know if... I don't think I can even talk to these people. I think it's just the named sickos. Oof, they are in rough shape. Okay. So I want to make this as quick as possible. I do not want to miss out on oh, the opportunity to heal Philip. What? Have you come for my wife? You're out of luck. I'm old Straw, don't you know? Straw, you've not taken a, my son. Not a very intimidating name, Straw. I just got to tell you that now. 
Just give me a heads up. Bastard. Uh, I've come to help your wife. Yeah, I was yelling at him to calm down. Calm down yelling school. at people to calm down always you're works. Me to calm down. Because if you don't calm down, I'll make you regret it. Oh, no. Oh, now we're talking. Oh, no. Straw. I didn't want this to be the case, buddy. Man. I didn't want us. I, I didn't want to come to this. I'm wearing my nice clothes. All right, good. He's just knocked out. Uh, kick his ass. Already done. And he is... He is all piled up in a corner. Oh, boy. Let me be. Let me be. Well, you could have just let me help your wife, man. Hmm. Fever. Just like Melechar's wife. All right. So, fever. Delirious. Uh, uh, what do we say? Nauseous. This door has already been opened. Did I open this? Another oh, car. Mother of God, I can't. Uh, All right. So I think I just got a couple more spots to stop in, and then I do also want to see um, uh, what's his name? One of our old friends, Matthias. He is also here, and laid up, injured. Jesus, lad, what are you doing here? Can't you see the play cross on the door? Don't bleed on my new shirt. Exactly. The monastery <laughs> sent me to help. God bless you, boy. I need to know exactly what you're suffering from. Oh, I see. Well, I have a dreadful fever. My wife, too. I recall almost nothing of yesterday. I was raving for most of it. Is there anything else? Well, forgive me for saying so. The shit just pours out of me. Oof. I can't keep anything in. I'm completely worn out. You have my thanks. Wait a minute, will you? So tell me. I need to write my will. Can you write? Why, yes, I can. I might manage that. Excellent. Yes. I, Vincent, son of Vincent, grandson of Vincent of Mehoyed, do bequeath my Not a very creative family. my worldly goods to my wife Wilma. If my wife were to pass away with me, mm -hmm. I bequeath all to my cousin Dobesh, at this time the cobbler in Yanovitz. In no event shall my prodigal son Elia, oh. the layabout and good for nothing, inherit a single groschen. All Drama. customs and traditions aside. Oh boy. Um, should I write that too? Yes. Wow. And then write. The executor of my last will is to be my good friend, Father Fabian, presently the parish priest at the church of St. Martin in Sasso. Anything else? This will was written down by... Henry, presently in fealty to Sir Radzig Kobola. That sounds pretty fancy. Well, I never. That will add some weight. Here, take my ring so Fabian will know it to be truly from me. All right. Rock and roll. All right. I'll head off then. Yes. Go now. Go before you catch the disease. Then where will we be? But either way, whether it be banana or zucchini, when it's in front of me, I just, I don't care. It's, it's going to get at. And I apologize for nothing. Punished. Okay, so we have been figuring out that the the plague ridding this town is causing fever, delusions, getting the uh, diarrhea, aches, all the terrible stuff. Not warmed with butter. Oh, it's both warmed and with butter, Chili Santa. Check and check. Check and check! Homemade food. The best. Food. <laughs> all right. So before, uh, what did I say though? I said, oh, we got to talk to Matthias as well, who I believe is up here in the stables. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Chili, don't, don't you worry. George Benton, how, <laughs> how dare you? I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, I selfishly am eating banana bread in front of you. I do apologize. All right, what up, Matthias? Hal? You're a sight for sore eyes. What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, Matthias. Sir Radzig sent me here to investigate the raid. Sir Radzig? Looks like you've come up in the world, mate. You're here as his envoy? Yeah, something like that. But that's not important right now. Well, I'm glad to see you have a job. Lots of our old neighbors have been reduced to begging. If I were in your shoes, I'd get the hell out of here. There's some disease spreading. Disease? Henry's <laughs> all surprised. Plague. It's like, yeah, we, we were literally just talking is, about this. Like, bad. We, you were just it's talking to people in town about raid. it? First the oh, damn. Are you all right? Well, at least I haven't caught the sickness. True. But you've been hurt. It happened during the raid. One of those damn bandits fell on me, horse mm. and all. My arm's badly broken, but... Uh, Tell me about the raid. What do you want to know? I hear one of the raiders was taken captive. I'd like to question him. Aye, old Melahar, let him have it over the head with a flail. Nice. Why is that? That fucker killed young Straw, and his old man's sharpening a sickle for him. Melikar still hasn't decided what to do with him. Uh, I understand Straw wants I revenge. understand old We did just have a fist fight over it. But first, I have to question that bandit. What happens after is no skin off my nose. Good luck, then. I know you've got courage enough for any man, but how did a bunch of untrained villagers manage to hold off armed bandits? One of the village lads caught sight of them coming through the woods and told Melikar, who roused the whole village, and everyone grabbed what they could. What? Cool. You mounted an assault against them? Aye, and that was the key. A few of them still managed to break through to the village. All right. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Let's hop on the horse. Now, my best advice to anybody out there who is unfamiliar with the way this game works even if you look really stylish and cool, which I currently do, if you're gonna do any fast traveling, um, always take the minute, take the time, and get your armor back on. Because when you're out on the road, and all of a sudden you're under attack, it's impossible to uh, get fully equipped. So get yourself taken care of. Oh, looking good, looking good. All right, what am I missing? I think we're looking good. All right, so I want to hurry up. Hey, Kevin, welcome in, my friend. Oh, I'm in this mission. I don't know how to make the potion. Ah, yes, very good. Uh, so I will show you exactly how to do that. So the plague is being investigated, but we now, I think at least this should work, but hopefully, we'll see. I'm going to uh, speed on back down to the monastery, chat to Nicodemus, and... Uh, Because what you have to do is so you you get the insight from the from the people saying like hey what's you know what's what's been happening what's wrong how come people are sick yeah. and uh, and then you look in this big book that basically has all of the different answers of uh, of past illnesses and things like that I'm here to learn excellent my friend we'll feel free to settle in before we heal that one though so we're also going to need Artemisia potion. Uh, for Philip to clear his guts because he unfortunately while uh, while laying with uh, a bunch of dead bodies got pretty sick so we need two wormwood and one sage now I have neither of those things at the moment wormwood and sage wormwood and sage I'm gonna open these up because all these here this doesn't count as stealing actually uh, all right so wormwood and actually I guarantee you I have sage that's what makes me smell so good so I'm gonna take all that because that's not stealing it's simply just use, utilizing things that somebody somebody has that you need. Uh, yeah, I read 20 books. Nice. Uh, so this book I actually just looked at by accident is actually one of the books that we need. But that's actually not exactly it. So, so he's sleeping. They're all sleeping too. So while everyone's sleeping, I'm gonna try to pick a. I'm gonna try to pick this lock here. Too difficult. All right. What up, Yohanga? All right, so let's see if I can craft this Artemisia potion now. I can. Perfect. Uh, you'll need two spirits. Oh, I'm sorry, you'll need spirits. Two handfuls of wormwood and one handful of sage. Drop the sage in. Boil for 10 seconds. Grind the wormwood. Drop the coal, Drop it in the wormwood. And cook for two turns. All right, so 
10 seconds sage, Quiet. 20 seconds ground wormwood. Easy peasy. And that's with... Spirits. Alright, so the way I like to do this one then... Uh, and this is not for the uh, this is not for the main mission. This is for um, how, uh, houses of healing or whatever it's called. All right, so I'm gonna drop in the sage and boil for one turn. So sage, what the hell? Where's my stuff? Ah, there we go. All right, so this is why I wanted to give us a little tutorial earlier on how all this works. So once again, we start with our base. This time it is spirits or alcohol. I'm gonna throw one sage uncrushed right into here. And then I'm gonna to toss two wormwoods into my mortar. Now I'm gonna get this boiling, and while that boils, then I will grind my wormwood. And I just need 20 seconds of heat. Because if you think about it, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the uh, so the sage should be boiled. So then I can toss this in as well. Hey, ah, there we go. Put that down. Boom. I'm gonna give another pull on the bellows just once, I think. Actually, I'm gonna go one, and two. And just for fun, since we got the time. See how close we get. And you can kind of... So you can always listen for the bubble. So it sounds like it's slowing a little bit. So I'm just going to give one more pull. Do the hourglass one more time. And then, just to make sure... Uh, drop the wormwood in the cauldron. And then... Okay, and then we distill at the end. Okay, very good. Boom. So I think that should be good. And if not, that kind of sucks, but we'll see. All right, come on. Now, sometimes it does give you a little bit of leeway, one way or the other. Come on, come on. Artemisia. Boom. All right, nailed it. Get out of this. So we give this to Philip. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Now it says wait a little bit to see if it works, and I don't know if that's like right now. I'll just go to sleep. I'm going to go to sleep for a little bit. I think I can... Uh... And kind of crowd in somewhere around here. Which also, Henry is sleepy. It's been a long time since he's had any rest himself. He's been riding all over town. I'm dirty. I haven't had a shower or a shave. I'm going crazy over here. Let's see if he's dead. What? What, what happened? happened? He brought you back to the land of the living. Woo! All right. Wow. How long have I been unconscious? For a long time. I have to find them. Rest now. You're going to be very weary for the next week or two. You'll find your friends. They probably ended up in Ratai like most of our folk. Or in Pribislav it's now. Hmm. All right. And Henry... Hmm? Thank you. No problem. For the love of God, what have you been doing? <laughs> oh, I think I'm a little... I just won't get any sleep. How are the sick and wounded faring? I don't think there's anything more I can do for them. You did what you could. <laughs> Truly. 
I don't know what yeah, I would have could. done without you. Take care. Henry! I don't know if you've heard about it, but Merhoyed was attacked. Oh, God! How is Matthias? Wounded in the arm. He's being brave about it, but his injury looks bad. I should have fixed it. Need to see him. Before you go, there's something else. What? Some kind of disease has taken hold in Merhoyed. Their livestock has died off, and now the people are coming down with it too. I thought maybe someone here might know what to do. Merciful heavens. How awful. It's a good well, I'm thing guessing it's above there. her pay grade. If there's any hope, this is the place to find it. You need Brother Nicodemus, the monastery physician. He may know how to deal with it. Very well. I'll try to find him. Come back when you know more. Come Thank on. you, Johanka. Just come. Good luck, then. Okay, so now... Johanka, her duties have kind of been cleared up because we did such a great job. Now we're going to talk to Nicodemus. And get him on, on board with... Uh, Helping us out with Merhoyed. Some kind of disease has taken hold in Merhoyed. Johanka said that you might be able to advise. A disease, you say? How intriguing. Yeah, it's great. Yes, yes, it's very interesting. But can you help these people? I can't say at this point. I need to find out a little more. Tell me, has the whole village come down with it? Can't. I just no. Can't. About half. No, I mean, not yet. Several households have around half the village. Merhoyed? Isn't there a stud farm there? And what of the animals? Did they get infected too? Yes, Aye. there's a stud farm. And they've all died off. The horses, the cattle, chickens, and now it's got to the people. That is most intriguing. What are we to do about it? Do you know the symptoms? Uh, yes, more yes. or less. Excellent. I have several extensive volumes here in the library. Describe the epidemic, including the symptoms, and we could take some guidance there. Can you read? Once again, yes, I can. Yes, I, I can. can. <laughs> Excellent. So, where should we start? Evidently, there's something amiss in the digestive tract. In the what? The digestive tract, Henry. Um, right. <sighs> the trouble lies between the mouth and the arsehole. <laughs> uh -huh. That's a real great sure. way to, to break it down for him. We can rule nothing out at this stage. But I don't know Latin. Quiet. Study the breviary carefully and compare the symptoms with the recorded cases. I'll try the proven classics. Avicenna and his Canon Medicinae and Galen's Magnum Opus. The, the Ars, Ars Medicinalis. Good luck to you. Ass medicine. All right, so, um, especially for somebody like Kevin, who is looking for some knowledge on this quest. So, once you talk to Nicodemus, and he tells you, hey, go read these books, right? So it's right here, and then the one he wants to study is right here, I believe. But you can see by opening it up, I said you can read by... Okay, so I can't actually interact with that one, so that must mean that's his. But this one, the Brevarium de Signis Causis, how to recognize ailments by means of humors and fluids. Uh, okay, so, so what you kind of have to do is go through this thing, and you do have to read it to, to narrow down what it is. So that's where it's, it's crucial that you investigate at, at Meherjed with the sick people ahead of time. It won't lock you out. So say if you just went there, got the mission, and came right here, but you already knew the answer, like I do right now, um, you could, you could, it doesn't matter. You can still get the right answer. It doesn't lock you out just because you didn't do every little bit of investigation. So if you're not feeling a full investigation, don't feel like you're going to blow it entirely unless it's your first time and you're unfamiliar because then you may not know. So this is just the sort of table of contents, letting you know what this whole book's about. So then the excess of mucus may also lead to dip diphtheria. For example, the body endeavors to get rid of it by coughing, sometimes spasmodically. It leaves sores in the throat and mouth and trouble the sick and complicate to intake fluids. The whole agony is rather exasperated uh, by a fever, often accompanied by malaise. After a few people, after a few days, a rash or spots appear. People often become infected by association with a sufferer, but not everyone so succumbs to the infection. Diphtheria does not infect animals, nor do they suffer from it. So while a lot of that sounded correct, the very end there, Diphtheria does not infect animals, so nor do they suffer from it. So that means that clearly that's not the not the case. 
uh, plague, black bile, fluctuations, exhibit many signs, fever, malaise, alternative spastic coughs, uh, perhaps even diarrhea, when the body endeavors to rid itself of excess black bile and great thirst. After a few days, sores erupt on the body, on the neck, under the jaw, in the armpits, and groin. Later, black spots are seen on the fingers, nose, mouth, and other protrusions of the human body where accumulated gall settles. It spreads among people, but some people are not afflicted. Small animals do not suffer from the plague, but bigger ones may be infected. So since we found out that all of the animals are there, uh, are sick, that is probably locked out as well. Um, all right, fusion of yellow bile, dysentery manifested by various signs, violent diarrhea, vomiting. Sick also suffer from terrible thirst, abdominal cramps, and fever. It is transmitted from person to person, but animals do not suffer from it. So no, not that either. All right, but there are also other ways in which the inner humors are disturbed and the blood weakened. One such is by poisoning, which is manifested by fever and delirium, stomach ache, bringing convulsions, diarrhea, and great thirst. If a person is poisoned by gas, for example, in mines, near swamps, or similar places, there often appears on him a rash under the nose and mouth. However, this rash does not occur if the poison is ingested through food consumed. Poisoning is not transmitted between humans or animals, but if they all drink, for example, from the same source of water, then people are inflicted as well as animals. The latter often sooner so based on what uh and so uh, if you just scan through these you can really get to the end they're like affects humans and not animals as this last item gives us so based on what we're reading poisoning and if you think about it my apologies i was trying to read <laughs> that was my dog doing noises <laughs> my apologies um, exactly, yeah. This is pretty much ye old WebMD. So, as all of those examples gave us, there were certain things that all sounded right, but small details that made it the wrong choice, except for poisoning. Everyone was drinking in the water. Everyone was drinking from the same source. Animals all died. Humans are dying from it. And all of the things like convulsions, diarrhea, the great thirst, all of that stuff was matching what we talked about in the, uh, from the victims of Mehoyed. So, based on what we learned here, I, I feel confident going to talk to Nicodemus and let him know I think I have it. Yes? And what do you make of it? Poisoning from water. It's poisoning from tainted water. Really? That sounds rather unlikely. But if Master Johann of St. Paul's says so, who am I to contradict him? Good point. We shall have to prepare some medicine at once. I could help with that. Really? Yes. I know my way around the alchemistic arts. An ordinary fellow who knows the arts of physic. You're damn right. Start it right away. I'm Henry of Scalitz. I, meanwhile, shall head straight to, uh, where was it again? Merhoyed. Oh, yes, Merhoyed. Thank you, Brother Nicodemus. All right, cool. Uh, I need to cure the captive first. Uh, that's not going to, well. There's one man there who needs your care more urgently than anyone. He's an important witness in the investigation of some murders. Out of the question. I shall spend time with the sick in order of their medical needs, not your worldly needs. Fair enough. Yeah, you know, he's got kind of a point. All right, so Would while he's here, though, sir, I am going to go ahead like and... To... All right. Now. Nice. We got the next perk, which is great. All right, so we're going to let him scoot on out of here. Thanks for nothing. Um, but yeah, so that is exactly what you got to do. And then, now that we have... Uh, we, we know what the issue is. Actually, I don't remember if... Okay, I don't think I've learned it qu Ah, yes. So, once you, uh, once, once, uh, Nicodemus heads up that way, you are now able to make the Mechoyedi remedy, which is charcoal, valerian, and thistle. Prepare clean water, one handful of valerian, and two thistle and some charcoal. Drop the thistle, so one... I'm sorry, two thistle in the cauldron, boil for 20 seconds. Add the valerian and boil for 10 more seconds. Leave it to cool. Finally add the charcoal, but don't boil it. That makes sense. So thistle, two turns, valerian, one. And then finish with charcoal. All right, let's prepare this. Uh, if you're not able to do this, I believe that uh, Nicodemus will do it for you, but it feels pretty good to do it yourself. Uh, I chose plague, which is totally fair. And it, again, it's all the little details of of what that book says that's so crucial because it's like it all sounds right until the end when it's the animals and humans the the difference there uh okay so i believe we just we don't have to grind anything right it's just uh drop the thistle in the cauldron 20 seconds sorry it's two two thistle 20 seconds 
Solarian for one second. Cool it, charcoal to finish. But yeah, small details really, really make the difference in that in that one. It's really cool also so this is not by any stretch the only alchemy bench in the entire uh, nation you can actually find it in the middle of nowhere little ho uh, little hovels there's little uh, like witches stands kind of in the middle of the woods and those are kind of cool you can talk them into letting you use them all right that is now boiled one valerian i'm gonna hit this heat one more time boom get that back to a boil Hit it one more time for a little more heat. Just gonna stand here. Hold no, no crap. Oh crap. No, no, no. I forgot that with charcoal, he throws it right in, you dummy. Damn. All right, so I totally, totally screwed the pooch on that one. Let's see if it'll let me slide with it. It won't. It definitely won't. Oh my god, it worked. Wow, that's crazy. So the game really let me slide with that, uh, which was really nice. Because Let's see what our... Oh, nice, I got two... All right, so this is great. When brewing, you can make one extra mistake without affecting the result. That's huge. Um, yeah, that is really, really nice. So I'm going to do trial and error because I like that one a lot. Then... Witcher. Potions will fill you up 30% less, which means you can drink more of them and more often. So I am actually going to do Witcher, because uh, that's great. I hate having to balance my nourishment with uh, with what I'm trying to drink. All right. That is awesome. So now we have the remedy. Take the remedy to Mary. Yeah. 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 And we will, but first things first. I know people are dying, but I need to get my mustache trimmed, and I need to take a bath. So first things first. Also, I think, I think we are very behind on pears. Oh my goodness, wow. Just, I mean, cooking through, cooking through all of my armor kits and everything, I tell you. Yeah. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully, Kevin, that helped uh, show a bit more of, of how uh, how kind of simple this mission is. Just kind of got to pay attention to little stuff. But hopefully that helped a little bit. Greeting. I'd like some. And what is it you? I'm sh Good luck. There. Nice. All right. Finally, a little trim. I'm take care. I should have plenty of time to go get my stuff repaired as well. Yeah. Yeah. Now the general store I just passed on my right, but then right behind all these stalls, this is going to be our blacksmith. Or, or the armorer, I should say. This is Master Oda. Hey. God save you, good knight. Uh, let's go ahead and talk repairs. Oof, lots of stuff. Okay, so this is where you got to be careful sometimes. If you accidentally uh, choose repair all in your inventory and you didn't realize that you have a bunch of stuff that you actually plan on just selling, make sure you only are selecting your your uh, the gear that you're wearing. Otherwise, you're gonna you're gonna repair stuff that you do not intend to. Uh, let's go ahead and haggle. I'm gonna pay him a little bit extra to try to get let's on his good side. About the... Here, thanks. Beautiful. 
All right, and now, actually, I'm going to get that money back by selling them a bunch of stuff. Now, this one, I'm fairly certain, is an extra one. So we'll sell that, sell that helmet. Hamburg, riveted, shirt from Stephanie. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep one ring, so I want to get... Well, actually, I'm going to sell them both. Silver Spurs, get rid of all them. Beautiful. He's got 2.9, so I'm actually probably going to cash out here. Let's have a word about... Are we agreed? It's not... Go 21.5. Agree? That's... 21. Not bad. All right, a couple thousand. Scoot. All right, so we've got the cure. We figured out what was going on. We cured everybody in town that was sick, uh, sick and dying up here. What's, going, what's this one? Go to the monastery and talk about the annex. Okay, so that's a separate quest. We'll take care of that in the future here. But we are going to head back first things to Samopesh since that's on our way. Hopefully, we'll get there before the middle of the night again. Mainly because this is going to be a sick, sick, I don't know, quick, simple uh, turnaround on the uh, on this quest here. I also have to do this because it drives me nuts. I really wish there was a a hide uh, hide helmet in dialogue option. Where is this guy? Here we go. So once you're in Semopesh, find the uh, find the blacksmith shop right over here. Hmm. And chat with this handsome fella. What's the matter? Look at how shiny I am now. It's Love it. It's the tawny. It always upsets me. Why would the tawny upset you? It brings back sad memories about my son Svatopruk. Svatopruk. And for years he saved every groshin he got so he could buy a real weapon. It wasn't long before he had the hang of all sorts of fancy strikes and feints. Good so when he heard Sir Hanush was holding tawnies for common folk, he was first in line to enroll. Did your son ever win the tourney? Because I have. Oh, I'm I a tournament champion. Svatopluk wasn't the strongest, but he was agile as a weasel. And he put his heart and soul into it. Uh, so what, what happened? happened to him then? Well, this fella by the name of Peter enrolled. Hmm. They called him Black Peter on account of the color he wore. He beat all comers. Yeah, we got history, no me and Black reach. Peter. Only Svartopluk was determined to take him, so he started training all the hours God gave. He even started going to Captain Bernard for lessons. Hey, so did we. And in the last tourney, he got the better of Black Peter in the end and won the prize. Only he never came home that day. Hmm. I figured he was having a drink in Rate to celebrate his victory. But he didn't even turn up in the morning and I started getting worried. I was just on my way to look for him when some merchants came Had Black by. Peter. They found my boy by the road just past Rate. He was still alive, but he was burning up and shaking like a leaf. I sent for the sawbones right away. But before the day was out, I had to send for the priest. Damn. So, it seems like that was Black Peter's M.O. Is anybody who beat him in a sore loser kind of way, he would poison them on the roadside. I know the spot. I think I can tell you what happened to Svatopluk. Really? The fact that he died just after beating Black Peter and winning the tourney was no coincidence. So it was that bastard. Oh, yeah. Yes. Black Peter lay in wait and ambushed me. He's a nasty piece of work. The thing is, he had some kind of poison on his weapon, so I reckon he might have poisoned your son. The signs you spoke of point to it. Merciful God, I knew it! But how did you get away from the fucker? Did you kill him? Oh yeah! It was no match for me. I sent him straight to hell where he belongs. Thank you. It won't bring my boy back, but it gives me some peace to know you avenged his death. Oh yeah. Here, take this. It's not much, but it's all I have. All right. Thanks for the 85 bucks, sir. Goodbye. 
But hey, at least we, uh, one, checked off that uh, DLC quest, and two, you know, we, uh, took revenge on a piece of crap that uh, took out, took out an innocent young man in the prime of his life, so we did a good thing. All right, just a little scoot up to Me uh, Mayor yet, and we're gonna hopefully, hopefully cure the town. He's got to find um, Nicodemus. Where is he? Where is he? Brother Nicodemus. So here I am. How are things looking? It doesn't look good at all, my boy. Do you have the potion? Yes, here it is. I'll take four doses. You take the rest and let's split up. I'll see to the straw family. Good, because I kind of had a fist fight with him. Wife and the rest. Just saying. They wouldn't let me go near that prisoner. Perhaps I'll be able to convince them. I promised I'd bring them help, and I've kept my word. They... I hope so, but in the short while I've been here, I've found the locals to be rather stubborn. <laughs> All right, let's go try to schmooze Malakar into letting us do what we came here to do. I think first things first, I got to go, uh, let's see, where do I got to give the cure to the sick? All right, so I got to take care of that first. Go talk to these gross people. Their sickness. Hey, you. Who are you? Pedriska. Don't you know this place is full of disease? Rest easy. I'm here to bring you a cure. Drink this regularly. A cure? All right, check. Right. Crazy guy. Is yes, yes, the sled. <laughs> Just you drink this and you'll be fine. Is this holy water, brother? It is. Drink some, and give it to the others in the house, too. All right, I think one more, probably. Rule of threes. Hope for the best. Now, I'm hoping this timing all works out, because speaking of the tourney, still got to go win a round of tournament fighting tonight. All right, so we did... Right, cause he did this house, I think, right? Or do I have to do it? Nope, he did that. The Secret of Nim movie. I'm trying to, re oh, I'm trying to re go through my brains here. I don't know if I know that one very well. We found out what could be the cause of the affliction, and you should check where your water's coming from. It'd be hard to poison the spring, but what about the well? Mm-hmm. I have my suspicions. The bastards weren't satisfied with killing young Straw. I brought some help, as promised. Will you let me see the prisoner? I will let you, I will. Nice. Of course I will. My boy, if you've really brought a potion to rid us of this scourge, I'll let you do anything. Ah, Weird. whether I've managed you. to rid you of the scourge, that remains to be seen. It'll take a few <laughs> days before we know whether the potion worked. I know, but even so... Just the fact that someone cares, that means a lot to us. Hey, you got it. No big deal. Don't thank me. Take care of your wife. Never cross me again. Thank Brother Nicodemus. No, no, no. Uh, let's say... Don't fret about that, Melikar. A thing like that would have scared anybody. Just take care of, um... What is your wife's name? Hannah. So, take good care of her. Now open up that shed. God be with you. All right, we will, but I got to take care of a couple more. I think, uh, I think I got one more sick house up here, I think. Hard to remember. I, oh, crap. Ah, I will. You're back. Of course. I always keep my word. I don't doubt that, naturally. Did you deliver my will? Uh, not yet. Not as yet. Then be quick about it, please. A man on his deathbed must set his house in order. Don't worry. I brought a remedy from Sasav. Nice. Drink this regularly. I was really hoping it wouldn't make me go talk to the remedy. priest to then come back. You have hands of gold. Pure gold, my boy. Henry's God healing hands. All right, there you go, buddy. 
Now I'll go take care of that uh, will in the future. Go, go. Right, who do I got left? Who do I still have to heal? Give the cure to the sick. Damn. I'm trying to recall, because here's where I'm going to go for the prisoner. We'll go talk to him in a little bit, but I want to make sure everyone's healed first. Ah, dang it. All right, so there's Johanka. God save. God bless. It's so terrifying how sometimes, sometimes Henry ends up with these shark eyes. He's standing there and it's just blacked out. Great white eyes. All right, come on. Please be the please be the right place. Oop. So that ain't right either. Hmm. Where oh where is the last uh the myth, the legend, the gnome that was tossed. Wow. It's an animated kids movie from the eighties. Yeah, I yeah, I know it sounds familiar. Oh, but I, I think that was like right before my time of 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 really imprinted entertainment. You know what I mean? All right, my apologies, friends. I'm just trying to find this last person. I know I've said it a thousand times, and just just don't know where the hell to go for it. Okay, let's go house by house here because we went in there. Done. We gave her that one. Did the same thing because this was Daniel. We gave it to him. So maybe. Oh, that's just a little barn. Come on. What's this? A little chicken coop. Barn. A good tossing is always already. <laughs> well said, Von Fink. Welcome in, my friend. If there's anybody who knows a little something about uh, tossing, it is our our uh, our household gnome, Porcini. I was watching some old uh, some old shorts the other night, and and one of the first ones I ever made with tossing Porcini. It was it was fun. What a good time, and what a good sport, by the way, as well. Appreciate you, bud. <laughs> good tossing is always worth it. Anybody in here? Nope. Anybody up here? No. All right. What the hell am I missing? Let's just go talk to the prisoner. Hmm. Now let's wait and see what happens. Right, so I gotta wait to see if the remedy works. Well, that's happening. She's cured. She's cured. Got Yohanka on her. Um, there's got to be there's got to be a house just tucked away that I'm not realizing. We're on the very far end of the street. No. And I am. What is going on here? He's good. He's good. Hmm. Ah, that sort of thing is so frustrating to me. I know I've rehashed all these streets numerous times. Ah, very good. Take care now. So the last person is the... Uh... Wait until the situation clears up. Okay, so I think that's all good. So now I just have to wait and then uh, marry Ed whether it be cured or not. Oh, I'm just chilling. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, get my horse, get a nice comfy spot to sit. 
And I'm just going to read for a little bit. Wow, seven hours to study it. Damn. Beautiful. The torch out just in case. All right, let's see what this punk has to say. Welcome back to the land of the living. Oh, now look at that. Tomorrow, Rat Attorney. Perfect. Who are you? That's not your concern. I'm the one asking questions here. <laughs> A man after my own heart. You'll have an easy job with me, boy. How so? I won't give you any problems. That's wise. That's sensible of you. I'm a sensible man. Only I'd like to get it over quick and not keep the Rate Executioner busy too long. If you catch my drift. I understand. What do you want to know? Everything. First, tell me who's behind all this. Who do you follow? I follow the coin, lad. We all do. That's not news to me, but who pays the coin? Mm -hmm. I got my pay from Runt, like all the men in Pribislavitz. And Runt got his money from the chief. And the chief had the coin minted. <laughs> All right, so we're finding out the chain of hierarchy here, at least. Why did you attack Merhoyed? The chief himself gave us the order. So he's planning more raids? The chief's always planning something. Privis Lovitz was only the start. It's not good. Who's the chief? The bandit leader? Bandit? <laughs> if he heard you say that, he'd have your head on a spike. That's the kind of man he is. Nobody knows much about him, though. Only that he ain't Czech. Hmm. So he's a foreigner? German? Don't think so. For sure he ain't Czech. And he's got plenty of coin. I'd stake my neck on it. He's got noble blood in his veins. Judging by how he looks. More by the way he talks. Any man can dress up like nobility, but he spoke all la-di-da like a lord. So the chief is in command of all these operations? You could say. I'd say you're looking at it all wrong, though. Oh, How's yeah? that? You ask who's in charge and who answers to who. Only this ain't some noble court. There was all sorts of gangs in Pribislav. It's big and small. Robber barons who had their own brigades calling them my lord. and Common footpads who hadn't a pot to piss in. Men came, men went. I suppose so. It was one big muddle. I didn't give a damn who the chief was or what he had in mind or whether he had one ball or two. All I was interested in was the coin. Sure. Bandit. Gotta love that. All right, so where can I find Where's him? that chief of yours now? I've no idea. After Privis Lovitz, he ordered us to raid Merhoyet, but he wasn't with us. He went off who knows where. I don't reckon he'll be out of your hair for long, though. So you knew the coin was counterfeit? Of course I did. I br Did you? And where did the forgeries come from? Like, where were they made? I don't know. Some merchant by the name of Menhart gave them to me. Menhart. We used to meet right. at the charcoal piles near Rovna, by the crossroads there. As it happens, I'm supposed to be meeting him there about now. So Menhart's waiting there? Might be. Might not. He could have heard what happened in Pribus Lovitz and decided not to show. Who else knows about the money? Apart from the chief, Menhart, Runt and me, there was a few others. All right. You said you used to bring other things. What were they? Letters. Menhart would give them to me for the chief. This time I was taking an answer back to Menhart too. Have you still got that letter? I, 
The yokels round here ain't got much interest in correspondence. Give it to me, then. I'd be delighted. Because I can read. And does this manhart know where the coin comes from? I see. Oops. So I suppose there's no point asking you if you know any more about him. It'd be a waste of breath. All he did was give me the coin, and then we went our separate ways. All right. That's all I need to know for now. For now? For the love of Christ, boy, don't let the executioner interrogate me. I've already told you everything I know. All right, real ones. Now we have a choice. This bandit, while he has cooperated, is still a piece of garbage. We can take him back to Rite, and we can let Sir Ransig decide what he wants to do with him. Uh, we, he's cooperated, so we can put in a word for him to have an execution swift and quickly, or deserves no mercy. And do we let the townsfolk of Meharied rain vengeance upon him? What do you all think? I'll give you a second to think it over. You're a thief and a murderer. How many widows and John Hall beats everyone to the punch. And now so you ask for mercy. <laughs> Pitchforks and torches this. Will cleanse your soul. Henry, I think old Straw's come for the brigand. Step back from that Eden, young fella. But, but you can't kill me. Not just like that. Shut the fuck up, you weasel. I keep it fucking shut. You don't even get a say. Calm down, Straw. He won't escape justice. After all, he's... Don't stand in my way, Billy Carr. Let Henry decide. He's the one who saved his life. Don't put it on me. But if that was... But if that was my son's killer, standing between me and uh, justice... Do what you want with him. I'm done here. There'll be blood spilled. See ya. I'm just going to let you all handle that one. All right. Well, there we are. So we have a new lead. Wait till the situation clears up. All right. I will, uh, I'll politely wait just in case. Maybe I can read in the meantime. Am I out of books? I might be out of books. I am. All right. So we'll just wait until... 30. I love the contemplative perk. Again, it's like you can just sit here indefinitely and not have to worry about it. Not have to worry about starving or anything like that. Alright, well, how long are y'all going to do this? I don't, I don't have all day to sit here and just wait around. Oh, wait until the situation clears up. So that's yeah. actually the illness, not them dealing with the bandit. Yeah. So in the meantime, I do have the other map marker is right here, but we're going to actually take a quick departure uh, because that leaves us with a brand new lead. Whoops. What the hell? Uh, that gives us a brand new lead. Where we have discovered that somebody who's kind of the middleman receiving the conference or the um, counterfeit coins, Groshen, was meeting a bit north of Robna, which is actually that small little burned out town that we just returned to the priest to, Father Simon. The middleman, Meinhardt, was meeting up there, a foreigner that was then um, bringing the coin to the chief of the bandits here. So we're finding out bit by bit, peeling back the onion layers yeah. of this very complex net of, uh, of intrigue. So tomorrow, after the uh, after the tourney, we'll head up there. But that is for Monday. We're going to be taking care of that then. So until then, let's go ahead and rest. I'd like come tomorrow more. And don't forget to. God be with. All right, fine. I'll just sit. I'm just going to sit right here then for the next 24 hours. How's that make you feel? Literally, just going to sit here for a full day. 
and tell me that tell me you would tell me you would mess with the with the tournament competitor who's sitting there meditating for a full straight day in full plate armor leading up to the battle Do you, i'm i don't think any of them could handle this A tournament! God bless you. What <laughs> troubles you? I'd like to enroll in the big tournament. All right. As long as you've got the enrollment stake. Of course. Here you are. I'll write your name down. I would troll him like crazy. You <laughs> and I need to know what weapon you choose. Longsword. Good. Take care now. All right. Let's do this, my friends. Per tradition. It is time to battle will be once more in the Rate Attorney. I've already placed my bet with um, with uh, Uncle Peshek. So if we win, we get another thousand bucks from him. Five hundred more from, from uh, Sir Hanush and another piece of armor to complete our Lords of Lipa uh, outfit, which hopefully, uh, our armor set, which hopefully, I think we only need one more piece, I think. We will witness a duel with long swords. All right, let's do this. And right here, you're done. Ooh. Fuck it. Drive him back. He's bleeding. And you're done. Uh, this victory. I have been working on my uh, my hammer skills as well, so hopefully we can get a, a round or two with that. Will surely be no less exciting. This one may decide the winner. Our warriors will fight with hunting swords. Let's do this. Kurva. Hey, whoa, I hit the... Well, whatever. All right, I've also got some new... Some new combos with the short sword, but I don't have them memorized, so hopefully I can remember them. Oof. That dude just got jabbed right in the face. All right. Well, that was about as easy as that could have been. <laughs> Round one. Check. And shall proceed to the next round. I wish there was like I, I, wish, I wish there was an emote. I wish an ability to to cheer. Now we haven't even talked about this. I should. I cannot wait Entering to see the, the scale be, of the next is, tournament because I guarantee uh, KCD two is going to have a huge tournament. Um, and or at least I hope they, I hope they just ramp up Welcome ramp up the production the of it. Not just this rinky dink little thing, but like traveling fairs, traveling. Uh, uh, tournaments. That'd be super cool. Plenty of entertainment. We will witness a duel with long swords. Ooh, jousting. That would be super cool, John. All right, Meinhardt. Oh no, what's your name? Frankfurt. <laughs> Had enough. No. Ah! Oh. All right, he's got me bleeding. Oh no, never mind. Almost bleeding. Okay, I don't like this. You're not supposed to win at all. Him in the corner move. All right, so swinging from underneath, it seems like not. He's really good at reposting from underneath. Oh, 
Oh, come on. All right, he's bleeding. He's half at health. We got him right here. Right here. Ooh, little post. Okay, okay. Lost your wind. Didn't lose my wind. Oh, come on. Give me a break. There we go. Thaddeus. Yeah, I think jousting would be a super cool addition to the game. And even just... Um, yeah, just adding some more uh, some more events would be incredible. And <laughs> kind of like kind of like we were joking. Basically, give us a knight's tale, but done in Kingdom Come Deliverance, and I think we'll all be happy. Come on, Henry, get in there. Has anybody here ever gotten really good with the axe in this game? Give up! As I've said before, I've always favored the long sword. I think it, you know, story-wise makes the most sense. But I should really give a... I should try to do like a full playthrough with axe only or something like that. The sky and says, nope. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's long sword all day. Victor in this round, he shall proceed to the next. All right, last round. Let's do this thing. Entering the arena now will be Coleman, man at arms of Sahanush of Lipa, and his adversary will be Henry of Skelets. From the company of Sir Radzik Kabla. Let us wish the combatants luck. All right, let's finish strong. The combatants have entered the arena. Yeah, yeah, okay. The first duel may commence. Yep, we've been doing that. We will witness let's a go. duel with long swords. I just want to fight. <laughs> His little, his little scream, his little scream, it really doesn't instill a lot of fear, I will say. And right here, you're done. Beautiful. All right. One round to go. One round to go. Ooh, and I'm almost due for another mustache trim. <laughs> Truly be no less exciting. This one may decide the winner. It will decide the, the winner. The combatants will engage in a duel with war hammers and shields. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> the sound that the sound that these make when they hit your armor. Oof, just sounds rough, just a hollow. <laughs> This is the one round I always get nervous in. Just how quickly the tides can turn with with a hammer. You see what I mean? <laughs> oh, right in the dome. There we go. There we go. Come on. Tire bound. Oh boy. There we go. All right. And just like that, the tournament is won by Henry of Scallets. Again. Lords and ladies, good men and good wives, you have just witnessed the final jewel in today's Ratai Tournay, for which we all owe gratitude. To Sahanush of Lipa. For Lipa. glory to the victor, Henry of Skelets, man at arms in the company of Sir Radzik Komila. Nailed it. His prize will be given to him 
by our gracious Sir Hanush. All right. All right. Now, if this is the chest piece, I think that that is the final victory in the tournament, I believe. Hurry up. Boom! Get a complete set of armor from the Rat's Attorney. So we are officially a tournament champion! Officially. Congratulations, Henry. You did a great job. Now let's get this R in here. Oh, I love that Curious. That's just good. It's just good. The full set. Boom. Look at that. And once again, in the exact same spot as previous weeks. There it is. The end of all things, Samwise Gamgee. Here we are together once again. Thank you all so very much for celebrating this beautiful KCD2 announcement day with me, uh, diving a bit further into the story of K uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance 1. If you're this far in and you aren't yet, please feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you along for the ride and hit that like button on your way out the door as we're winding, winding down tonight. This was a lot of fun. I had a great time discussing uh, what's what we're looking forward to for the uh, for the future here, what's coming up now. And again, as we said, it's so exciting to know that we have uh, a sequel coming later this year so we're going to keep playing this of course we are in the later game of it we've got i'd say we're, we're probably at about 65 percent of the story so we might do a little bit more side work side mission work but i think we're going to focus more on the main story because there's a lot of uh of difficult and 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 larger story threads to still go through. So we're gonna have a lot of fun with that. Uh, but as always, thank you so very much for stopping in on this beautiful Thursday night. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for Monday. Again, 7 p.m. We're gonna pick up right where we left off. As usual, I'm gonna do some, you know, sort of maintenance stuff and clean up and and uh, and and sell some goods and, and get all reorganized. But yeah, absolutely. Thank you, everyone. I'm seeing lots of love in the chat. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate it so very much. Uh, yeah, as always, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. And of course, my friends, Stay real. We'll see you again real soon. Take care.